and John Cena will be without a loop to loop to loop to loop. For long years up <laughs> ass. Shit like this can only be made due to the unique way the BBC is funded. They came like a bolt out of the blue to discuss everything in geekdom. I need more money! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the attack of the 50 foot nerds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geek Retreat Warrington for the live recording of the Attack of the 54 Nerds. Make some noise! I always love it when he's making sound like oh, the full they're, room. They're, they're so good. They're so well trained now. I know. Like, let's throw peanuts at them. So they like, you know. <laughs> um, dance, monkey, dance! Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, no, it's no happy event. All right, uh, yes, well, hello everybody, and welcome to episode ninety of the Attack of the Fifty Foot Nerds. But is it episode ninety? Actually, this is our two hundredth episode that we've ever Legacy recorded. Legacy episode two hundred. Yeah, so it's ninety regular attacks, but there's been a hundred and ten special episodes and beyonds and comedies and all this kind of stuff, which you can find over at fiftyfootnerds.co.uk. F I F T Y F W O T N E R D S. Congratulations, guys! That's amazed. Two hundred episodes. It only took us twelve years to get That's there. Like, yeah. still, that is amazing. Well, it's done. because we took a lot of time off. To be fair, <laughs> we're not as regular as we are now. We're on a fiber these days, so <laughs> it's <laughs> what. <laughs> we're on audio fiber. That's why we come at you once a <laughs> No, don't say that. <laughs> we release an episode. No, that's no, not. No, we no. drop an episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, th no, this isn't Patreon now. Yeah, No, patrons get the money away from me. Yeah. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yes. Uh, we have a hot steaming load of episodes for you <laughs> all the way over. <laughs> 50 foot nerds, not good at you, um, Yeah, but episode 90, that means we're only 10 away to uh, to the big 100. So how, how many have you done? How many have we done? Uh, since we've been doing here, well, we've, well, well, we've just what, done, what, done over was two years. Was it 60-something when you started? It was, it was 60 something when we started here. Was it? Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, we, we, were, we were just about getting our bus pass. Hold on, let me have a look. I'll find out for you. Talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, hold on, just while I get my phone out. Just put them on hold. <laughs> Your attendance at the 54 Nerds podcast is appreciated. Please stand by. If you'd like to join us, go to patreon.com forward slash 54 Nerds. That's FTY, FTY, FWOT, any RTS. And you can sign up there for as little as one pound a month. Paul is fucking old. Keep scrolling, keep yeah, scrolling. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Episode 65 was the first one that we did here. Oh, so yeah, when, when, when we got our bus pass. So we've, got 20, we've done 25 episodes here. Uh, well, that's regulars because obviously we've done like specials like the Throwdown and the Christmas specials and stuff like that. They don't Cons. count to the episode numbers. Cons, Cons don't well. count, yeah. So, yeah. So. Wow, mm -hmm. all right. So we've wow. done 25 actual attacks as well as other specials and stuff like that since we've been here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So probably, well, what will it be? Say about August next year should be episode 100. Oh, well, that's, wow. that's going to be interesting, then, isn't it? Oh, the question is, how do we celebrate 100 attacks? Because yeah, we can't, we, we can't. Yeah, we can't do a uh, throwdown for it because then that won't count as an attack. No. So yeah, I'll have to do. I'll have to we, we, we'll have to think of something. Yeah. I'll you just have to be careful what you do now because if you do anything in between the start of the attack, you're going to put yourself behind them all. I know. That's the thing. Well, we've got, we've we've come to a convention later this month, aren't we? So oh, we're going to have fun yeah. with that. Yeah. Anyway, don't worry about that right now. We'll deal with that we, later. Yeah, we've, we've got 10 months to think about, yes. about that. Yeah, but yes, this is episode, tonight is episode 90 of the Attack of the 54 Nerds. My name is Mike Bell because I haven't actually introduced myself as yet. And we're going to start on my left today. Yeah. Oh. Oh. On, the, on the left. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi, it's Paul. That was worth waiting for. Yeah. Okay. And now on this side, which is not the <laughs> left. He's... <laughs> <it's, laughs> Fat Doug. <laughs> That's what I'm calling myself. Fat, fat, fat Doug. Fat Doug. Fat Doug. Doug. Yeah, Doug went out with his family this afternoon and ate too much food. So if every now and then... Where did you go? Uh, just a, it's a Chinese restaurant over the way. It's all you can eat. Uh, and all I can eat is a lot East Orient. East Orient? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I do like all you can eat Chinese. Yeah, so it's... Just, it's like you guys are going to be talking about Doctor Who and stuff. You can hear me in the background like... <laughs> <laughs> gonna, you're going to shoo my in your beard, you, by you, the way. You, you, you're going to shoo my in your beard. I've got 
shoe, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> It's the guy who owns his story. Oh, All right, okay. <laughs> okay. To, to, to be fair, we don't have the camera on today, yeah. so you can't see quite how asleep Doug is. How fat he looks. Yeah, because fat. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think yeah. I win the title of fattest in the room. Thank you very much. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fattest behind the table, mate. Hey, Jesus Christ! If you want to be pedantic <laughs> about it. Fucking oh, hell. Oh, Jesus, not Miss Stipe. Thank you, Andy. Not Miss Stipe, probably, and yeah, the audience are winning. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find. Anyway. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> 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 Hold my skates. Oh, God. Right. Anyway. Hello. Oh, oh. fell over then. Out of my oh, okay. Uh, okay. Doug's battery fell out. Yeah. Maybe this is why he's so run down. If he plugs himself back that in, it'll be, be all right. It. That could be it. <laughs> yeah. Right there, Emperor Palpatine. What's that all about? Nah. Unlimited power and shoe eyes, man. Uh, so unlimited shoe eyes. So <laughs> as we do at the start of the show normally, unlimited shoe eyes. Uh, <laughs> We start off by saying what we've been up to, but Paul, you said you wanted to go yeah, first. This no, point. no, Doug. Oh, no, I want Doug to go first, wants because, to go because, first. Go because we are going to have words about something that's uh, been going on here. Oh. I, I knew you'd be interested in this. Is this about <laughs> last weekend? <laughs> yeah, it's Mike about Bay. last weekend. Well, the guys actually gave me that Ooh. as well, so they came back and there gave is, me Madame one. There he is, Madam on the front. In our shop. Yeah. So, Joshua. For, for all of those listening at home, um, last weekend we hosted for the full weekend. Um, uh, an event for Diplomacy, which is a board game from the 1950s. Uh, we had two of the world <coughs> champions in here, ex-world champions, sorry, a European, uh, ex- yes, an ex-European champion, and two people have flown in from the Netherlands really? to play all weekend, and they were Yes, absolutely... we have come to Geek Retreat to play on your, your Diplomacy game, yes. <laughs> that's exactly how, it <laughs> okay, that's exactly how she sounded. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she oh, was. did she keep her? <laughs> Well, yeah, so that's what we do. And I knew you'd be interested in this. Well, <laughs> okay. So, so I mean, do you want to explain about diplomacy? Or I do don't you know. I honestly don't know. The okay. I'm the best best I, 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 will, I will explain about diplomacy. Okay, then. you do. Yeah. Okay, so, because... This Why does the man on the box look like Kevin Eldon? He looks like the actor be, Kevin Eldon. Be, be, because... Real, oh. really? Um, it now, I, 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 I own a copy of this game. Okay. It no is in, it's actually one of the older ones, like the board that you guys posed with in the photo. Yeah, yeah the, the, the purple long box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <coughs> uh, yes, quite. Really? Um, anyway, um, it's one of the first tabletop games I learned to play when I joined our War Game Society when I, when yeah. I t- went to Sandbatch School, when I turned 11 and that. Um, um, this, this, this is a game that enables nerds to bully other nerds. That's right. the vibe I got. Yes, because, right, so, so basically, so diplomacy, it, you, you get a board and it's, it's basically World War I. It, it, it's Europe and Scandinavia and a bit of North Africa. Yeah. And uh, the idea is you, you're a country and... But you you're a country. You, sorry? You're a country. You're a country. Oh, okay. I thought you called me a country. Yeah. Um, And uh, the idea is you're trying to conquer the rest of Europe and North Africa and shit. Um, But it's not like Risk where there are dice rolls and and there is random stuff involved. Uh, it, It is all about strategy and, for that matter, diplomacy. You have to basically gang up with other players on other players or because st- or some stab them in the back. I- I- yeah, True, the, the, yeah. the first couple of rounds when there are you know um, em- em- empty places for you to go and grab, that's yeah. great. It's when everybody is finally you know, sort that's of filled up. The that's the guy on the box, isn't it? What? That's Kevin Eldon. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That. Um. Any, yeah, yeah. 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 I know what Kevin Eldon looks like. Okay. So I, I, I um, him. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but. Once it, it gets to a certain point where you, 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 to, move, to conquer a space, you have to basically have more support moving into that space than your person has defending it. And it will eventually get to the point where you can only do that with help from other players. Yeah. And when you're uh, you know, a, a, a teeny little 11-year-old uh, geek who, who 
basically has 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 no friends. The sixth form are names. going to uh, uh, the sixth form geeks Ask you for a are, friend. <laughs> are, are, are basically going to gang up on you, yeah. and that often did. So, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it, 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 it is a game for cunts, basically. Well, I thought they were lovely, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's it, it's a game that's been around you know pretty much forever. I mean, this this is a very nice edition, a modern edition. Yeah. Well, one um, of the, the the guy who ran it, Bradley. Thank you for running it, Bradley. Um, he was he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, he, Paul thinks you're a cunt. He gave, <laughs> <laughs> he gave the trophies out and, and medals out as well. That's cool. So I've like, seen the pictures. So yeah. you call he, it, he, he was call very it. popular. So very like popular. Paul was saying, then you you like make a deal with someone, so you can get more resources yeah. and stuff to take over. Yeah, but, you, you, but, it's, it's, it's all, it's all got, but you can the moves are all done blind. You, can, you, you write your move down before you, you do can it, go so back you can't on your deal change. And stab somebody in the back, and, cool. and it's literally called the stab. So the, the best stab got a uh, medal, but the worst stab, which this group, I hope it's not just this group, I hope everybody in diplomacy calls it, we call it the rusty stab. <laughs> somebody who, got the, who did the worst stab. They like just didn't work. I didn't. They didn't get what they wanted from it. It's called the rusty stab. Aww. It was so <laughs> funny. Um, but yeah, Wouldn't also the rusty stab be worse because medic- it would take longer to take effect and you know blood and stuff like that. I was like thinking like rusty mm. s- chocolate starfish, you know? um. like rusty stab. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight to anal sex, mate. That's what I heard. Rusty <laughs> stab. Well, well, yeah, well, I well, well, well. Um, and the other, uh, up there. the other thing that he did, which was absolutely lovely, some of the players have been playing for 40, 50 years. Oh god, yeah, uh, and. Um, he said, like, who here doesn't own a diplomacy board that hasn't won a medal? And one of the guys said, well, I don't ho- own a board, and I didn't win a medal. They said, here is the board from the 1956 championships. Jesus. It's wow. battered. It's absolutely battered. He won two of them. The guy who had it, and he's had them for ages, and he went, here yeah, after that. And it was just so lovely. And it, even yeah. I don't care about the game. I don't want yeah, to send you off board. To, 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 to be fair, board, it was just absolutely stunning. It was yeah. all frayed around the edges, yeah, like what, it should be, because it's been played well, a million games. Well, on well, it. While this modern edition looks very pretty, and that there, 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 there is something to be said for you know the old one that yeah. I've got, which, which is you know very sort of solid colours and sol- solid pieces, and don't, it, it, it's, it's, just it, let him go. Don't. <laughs> just with you saying that you've got an old board, <laughs> I'm thinking. First edition. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. It's it's probably from the seventies. Uh, I, I think. Um, but uh, Paul was there and queuing outside the shop. First, first day. The first edition he's got to the Bible. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Bible, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 All jokes. <laughs> to, to Paul, all the best. God. God. There you <laughs> go. But um, yeah, no. I, 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 You've I, done that. You've been out telling us a beat up to the Bible in the drawer. No, I'm never not going to do it now. You've just <laughs> talked about it. If you don't I, see I, a Bible and show just write in it to, I, to I, Dave all the best cough, something like that. I, I, think, I think you can tell uh, you, that I associate a lot of my early tabletop gaming memories with, you know, basically people ganging up on me. Yeah. Because that's that's what Battle Cars was like. He's wanting some sympathy yeah. there, that, that, audience. That's what Talisman no. was like. No. And, yeah. Uh, no. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> I sympathise. <laughs> we love our teaching uh, profession here. We uh, really do. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't expect that one, right? Mm. Mm. So, Paul, what have you what have you been up to? <laughs> um, a lot of running around um, various places because uh, I mean, we went went away for a weekend with with Kath, yeah. and then the following weekend it was. You went know, up to Lakes, didn't you? Up to up to Lakes. That was lovely. It was a nice nice weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, man, managed to. You know, do what we like to do. Or when, whenever we go to a place, I look for beer and geocaching, and we managed to do both of those successfully. Um, yeah, it was great. Yeah, we, um, uh, you know, we, we, you know, I get me app out for the, the geocaching. It's like, is there any ge- geocachings around here? Oh, yes, there is. One there, right there, six feet away from me. Literally, you know, it's like easiest cache I've ever picked up. So um, that was. That, that's it. <laughs> I, I made cache a lot easier than that one. I did. <laughs> yeah, not that. Oh, that different kind of cache. cache. Yeah, okay, geocaching. C a c o g. Um And then um, the following weekend, it was a uh, run down to London to show Joshua Lambda, the ah. London Academy Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts, um, which is at uh, Hammersmith now. Yes, which you talking. are familiar you with. Photos, didn't you? Yes. Yes, the Hammersmith Apollo hasn't changed much. Whenever they put a name on the front of the building, they still seem to miss a letter yeah. off. So if you want to go and see Romus Ranganatha, 
<laughs> then you're in luck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, last time we went, it was Hol- Hollywood Babbleton. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, I took Joshua to see um, a Television Centre, mm-hmm. which it, which which was not open when we were last. No, last there, time I was there, I had to get a photo next to a BBC. Yes. Sign. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and we got stopped by a policeman. Yes, who, 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 wonder, who wondered yeah. what the fuck we were doing? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, because it because because it's now um, you know, redeveloped it, yeah. and it, it, it's open to the public, so you can just go into the the, the, the central. You were tap area. dancing around the circle. Yes, yes, yeah, like, like like Roy Castle. Yeah. Um, and then I took Joshua up to Hammersmith Bridge, where Riverside Studios is, mm-hmm. and that's completely changed as well because since we were last we there, were there yeah. they have completely re- uh, de- demolished and rebuilt that. Oh really? Yes, yes, a completely I new building, notice, Riverside. Yeah. But um. I mean, the one, uh, both, both obviously are places uh, heavily involved in uh, the making of Doctor Who over the years. Uh, Riverside was you know, one of the smaller studios that you know, they did black and white episodes in, and, and mm. you know, so Hartnell, Trout, and that um, episodes. Um, but uh, they, they, they still very heavily lean into that legacy. Because yeah. um, um, when, when you go past the building and you can see in the windows some of the corridors, they've got um, well, did I, did they, I they, imagine there's a big picture of a Vord in one of the windows? Yeah, yeah, yeah they've yeah. got photos of, of <coughs> Vord and uh, William Hartnell. Wh- Sensorite, yeah, yeah. Cyberman, yeah. William Hartnell and Carol Ann Ford. There's, there's just shit. I mean, that's that's where the Dwas have their um, screening events uh, uh, for, for, for episodes. So uh, that, you know, it, it's, it's still very heavily involved. And again, uh, it, literally geocache just by the bridge. So it's like, yeah, I'll have that as well. So <laughs> that's all good. Um, we, we went, uh, I was hoping to meet up with a couple of mates and go for a pint, but you know, everybody just kind of, dropped out on me so it was a quiet evening we, we we went and had had a burger at honest burgers and then you know just chilled for the evening and but um ladder was really really good uh josh was um getting a good vibe off there so he's he's really uh, excited to apply for there um one of the students stu- students 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 it's because i've got studios on the brain stu- um, stu- students students um was asking us had had we gone to riverside and um, we, we we said yeah because he 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 just filmed something at uh, Riverside, uh, with of all people, Sophie Aldred. Oh. And it's like, oh yeah, we know Sophie. You know Sophie yeah. yeah, yeah, no, um, uh, there's there's a, a email draft talking about somewhere. Yeah, well, there's a band that have done a song on their last album called "I Want to Be Like Sophie Aldred." Don't we and, all? And it was a it, it was a music video for that. Nice. So yeah, so and that's that's uh, there was a Kickstarter for it, and uh, so I'm look, uh, looking f- uh, looking forward to that video coming out. Uh, so yeah, but it, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. Everything comes back to oh. Doctor Who in 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 the end, in one way, shape, or form. It, it does. What does. what have you been up to? Um, no, not a whole lot to be honest with you. Um, watched a few bits, which we'll discuss later. Ooh, yeah. bits. Ooh. Yeah, bits. Like bits. Yeah, bits. Yeah. Yes. Um, giving up. I've got another acting thing coming up. Um, another weekend mystery thing. That's next weekend. So got to look over my script this week. Get on me stuff together oh, for that line, that's in North Wales line learning <coughs> no, that's, that's, all right. that's, that's the other thing I'm doing at the moment it's the same it's the same show as last time so yeah, I yeah well that. that's fine you 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 know, I, I'm I'm in the middle of uh, uh, rehearsals for um, Flint Street Nativity and yeah yeah uh, I mean that that's that's on the week after the next time we're here oh. um, so you know, we're, we're getting there and the I mean no, no, nothing is in here at the moment well the only other thing that I've done <laughs> is did a pub quiz the other week, and about about a month or so, we did the same pub quiz. And how many of us? There was about six, seven, eight, maybe around that table. We won that pub quiz. So we go along to this pub quiz, and your mate drops out, doesn't she? She can't make it because she's at her back. Uh, so there's literally only me and Ellie at the table. <laughs> <laughs> and we fucking win, don't we? Just the two of us. <laughs> there's other teams with like ten people on it. Yeah, but and like, but yeah, literally, we won by 110 points. To 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 the to the effort, like literally, the guy who runs the the, the thing, the final question is is nearest wins the points, and normally it's like 50 points for whoever gets the, the closest. Anyway, because we win by such a large margin, he said just bumping up to 100 points. But even if the second place team would have got that, which they didn't, we still would have won by 10 points. <laughs> Put it this way: at the first break, we were like more than twice the amount of points as like. Some of the other teams. What do, do you remember? What this last question was? I don't remember. Oh no, yeah, it was uh, to, to to the mile as the crow flies. How far is it from London to Brighton? 
Oh. Mm. I still remember. I remember. Not a clue. <sighs> what do you think? London to Brighton. It's, yeah. it's, it, I want to say it's something like 60 miles. No. No? 104. 104? Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, that stuck me head, that one. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we absolutely smashed it. And and he come over to us, the guy who's running the quiz, Harry, his name is, uh, came over to us and just said, um, are you finding it? And we, we were just, we were surprised we were winning, to be fair, because we, we were winning the, running the entire, in the entire way. <laughs> and um, and I said to him, I said, have you got, any, I said, have you got any questions on comics, right, like that, by, by all means? And he was just like, well, you know, I've already set the questions and stuff like that. I was like, fair enough. Gets to the next thing, literally the first question that comes up in the next, in the next part. Which media franchise would you associate the characters? Casey Jones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, straight away. And he was just like, Splinter and Shredder, yeah. Ninja Turtles, <laughs> like straight away. I was in with that. And there was, lo- there was a few questions where I was like, bang, straight in. And one of the rounds was uh, a music round. He'd play a theme tune to a TV show. You'd have to tell him who it was who was singing it. And then the next question was, which TV show was it the theme tune for? Ooh, that's I was the only one who wow. got They Might Be Giants for uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Uh. Yeah. It's the only one at the entire room who got that one. Yes, no, maybe yeah. I don't know. And Can you, did you repeat right, the, the, the question? The Zoe Deschanel, didn't you? You pulled that one out your ass. Yeah, it's like a new girl in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, we had we had it was a good night that one. It was a really fun night. I say we, we, as, we, as, we um, like fifty quid, isn't it? Something like that. It's the real real story yeah. skill, isn't it? Which one? The the, the 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 quiz. It's done by real stories. No, no, no so the, the guy who runs it, Harry, he, he puts it all together. Uh-uh. So, yeah, but it's all done on like this app, so you'd have like little iPad minis. Oh, and right. so there's no cheating, everything comes up on there, and you're going to get like 10 seconds to answer your question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get to choose what your buzz is going to be for the buzz around. So we chose Napoleon Dynamite, didn't we? What was it? What was it? Is it what was it? The, the, the llama? Did you fell out? Eat your food. <laughs> that was it, yeah. So every time our buzzer came up, we were like, you fat Lauren, eat your food. <laughs> and it got to the point where people were just like, oh, God, it was literally every time our name was coming up. <laughs> was but yeah, so so we won that, so we were making up with that. And then we were about to do, a few days later, Harry says to us, because um, because you know Harry, that's yeah, and his missus, um, that's why we ended up going. But the, he said to us, what are you doing on Friday? Because in the Camp and Furnace in town, they're doing Quizney. A big massive quiz all about Disney stuff. So we said we were gonna go and then Katie ended up in hospital with like a detached spine or something. So um so, you know, close enough. So yeah, so uh so yeah, we didn't do the quiz in the end. So but no no, next time maybe. But we've gotta go and defend our honour again, the next the next quiz, haven't we? End of the month, so we'll be there. Oh yeah, oh well that's something I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. Okay, well that's everything that we've been up to. And slightly stuff that's going to be coming up. So let's talk about the actual things that we're here to talk about now. And let's talk about the news and geek them in the section that we call the Geek News. You want news? We got news. It's time for the 50 Foot News. Or the 50 Foot News, whatever you want to call it. I'm tired. Doug's hungry. No, he's not. It's the opposite of that. No, let's go. No, 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 no. No, no, okay. <laughs> Please don't. Kathy, you turn the stuff up. No. Uh, so, <laughs> Uh, right, okay, we're going to start off with the sad bit. Let's talk about people who've passed away, as we had a couple of notable names. Okay, you right there? Okay, just saluting. Sad names. Yeah. Firstly, James Earl Jones has gone. Well known for voicing Darth Vader and Mufasa, and both of the Lion Kings. So, you know, yeah. But not in the new one, because um, that's as we discussed there, uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker, uh, Hayden... Pa- Hayden Pan- no, it's not Hayden Panettiere. Hayden, That's Hayden, the girl from no, Heroes. No, yes, Hayden Christensen. Yes. yes. But either way, it's not even him. That was made a joke that fell right in the toilet there, so fuck that. He was also Tulsa Dune in the coma and the Barbarian as well, as well as a million other things. Oh, I, d- I just watched him in an episode of Frasier. Frasier? Yeah, season three of Frasier. Fra- Frasier's... Um, uh, Roz has to do uh, community service for you know, unpaid parking tickets or something and ends up doing it at an old people's home. Frasier... Is he on a respirator? Is he on a respirator? He's going... No, but, he, but he's blind. He, pl- he, 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 he plays an old Luke, blind guy. are you there? Where am I? And, 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 and uh, you know, so Frasier stood in the uh, corridor and uh, you, you, you hear the, the fil- familiar voice go, uh, you know, is the, can I hear Dr. Frasier Crane? And it's... Uh, uh, <laughs> Did he say that? Can I hear Dr. Frasier Crane? Crane? It's me, Daphne. No, that's, that's Daphne. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's Daphne, isn't it? <laughs> oh. 
Um, and yeah, but they had. They were they, part of the rebel alliance and a traitor. <laughs> um, but they, they they do a whole bit with um, because he's blind. He's he he, he has a, a death mask of his uh, oh, late late wife that he he feels every night. And Fraser breaks the nose off it, and he's desperately trying to fix it before the the blind guy finds out. And and you know, I don't yeah, remember being it, married to Voldemort. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, it's a t- 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 typical Frasier kind of um, Sh- shenanigans. Uh, yeah, shen- so James Earl Jones was in shit things as well. As hey, well, Frasier's well. brilliant. Frasier's not shit. I love Come on. Eleven, not selling that episode. Eleven, no. eleven years Frasier ran it. originally, and it's on. It. It, it's, on it. it's on. I was in love with both Ross and that, that, that was one. That was one. The theme tunes. Who sings this? And again, I was the only one who got that one right. No, yeah. I don't know. Okay, for Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, song. baby, I hear the blues are calling. Beast of the X Men. One I, of them. I know Fraser. One of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know who sings the song. Kelsey Grammer sings it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yes. That's what I mean. I don't know who sings the song. Yeah. yeah the, 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 the closing yeah, theme is is sung by yeah. Kelsey Grammer. Hey, baby, I hear the blues, the blues are, are calling. calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Oh my. Toss salads. Oh, baby, right. I'm a bit confused, but maybe I got you pegged. But I don't know what, what to do. Oh my god, is this a song about Kelsey Grammer's actual private <laughs> life? Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Oh my god, toss salads and pegging my god. Again. The clues are there the whole time. <laughs> wow. He is all about the ass. Oh, prime wow. time TV as well. Jesus Christ. And he's a fairy because he dresses up like Beast. Oh my god. The, it's literally was there the whole time. Wow, Channel 4, you dirty bastards. Right, let's move on. Uh, guess someone else died. It was Dame Maggie Smith. Oh no! Wait, hang on, I haven't finished talking about James L. Jones. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. don't talk about. Forget <sighs> she, she hasn't died yet. Shut up. Um, so, uh, in 2022, it was revealed that he'd actually signed his voice rights to Disney, yep. so that James L. Jones can live on. Vader will always sound like Vader from now on. And they actually used this. Um, I forget what they called it. It's like re- revocalizing or something like that. Is the yeah. name of the company. Um, it's a company based out of like Holland or Denmark or somewhere like that. Or a French, Poland keeper. somewhere. Um, <laughs> um, and. They actually did this in the Obi Wan Kenobi TV series, so it wasn't James Earl Jones came in. Mm. Is they basically deep faked his voice by using? Well, that's that's, that's that's what they did, what they did for uh, Mark Hamill in the end on uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, but no, he came in, he did it, but they no, had to no, it but, up. but but no, season three Mando. Yeah. Or as much as Mark did stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. the new voice, they, 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 they recreated the yeah. voice. That's not Mark's voice. No, no, I've voice. seen it's the documentary, yeah, 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 but they kind of, they knew what his inflections were, his mm. intonations and stuff like that. So it was easier, whereas James L. Jones didn't have anything to do with Obi-Wan, mm. so yeah, they just completely made that up from, from mm. scratch. Yeah, Thank you. you. Um, yeah, so guess who else started this month? Uh, I don't know. Team Maggie Smith. Whoa, oh, no. no. That's terrible. I know. She will most probably be remembered as Professor McGonagall. She's checking her is not here. That's fine. From Harry Potter. Are we allowed to mention it? We, we can mention the franchise, not anything else. Uh, but she also was in, obviously, the Sister Act movies. She was the yep. Mother Superior in those. My, the my Secret hit. Garden. Oh. Hook for me. And Hook, yes. Yeah. Now, I first remember seeing her in Hook way back in 1991, and this explains why I've always thought Maggie Smith was an so old, old woman. Yeah. Because she was in her 50s, she was like 52 or something like that when she made Hook, but it's the makeup. They got it right. Because, yeah. They got it spot on. Yeah, because she's supposed to be like, Wendy's supposed to be like 90 odd in that movie. Mm. They cast 50 odd year old Maggie Smith. Is it right there? The, the lady in the van. Oh. Yes, yeah. yeah. She, I mean, nice she, 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 nice she always film. did loads with. Um, but uh, yeah, it explains why I've always thought of her as an old woman. Yeah. Because, yeah, and as I say, it was probably the only time that old age makeup has ever got but it th- exactly th- spot th- on. Th- th- there, there are certain actors and actresses who are. Uh, who always seem to have been prematurely old. Yeah. yeah. Um, like Steve Martin has always seemed old. But yeah. That's just because he had white hair. Yes. When he was, when yeah, he was I mean, he, he, have, have you seen any of that? So it's the Steve Walter Brimley. Have you, yeah, have, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. You, have you seen any of that um, uh, Steve Martin documentary on Apple? No, oh, I yeah. haven't yeah. seen it yet. Yeah, but you look, at, you look at the footage of him doing stand-up in the 70s and then you watch him on uh, you know, only, on only Murders and it's like, what's the difference? Yeah. There, there is none. Yeah, I love, I love Steve Martin. He's yeah, he's, he's so good. He's absolutely great. He's so good. One person who... Doesn't seem to have aged for me, except he's got bigger. Was Chevy Chase? He still yeah. just seems exactly the same mm. to me, but he's just bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and 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 well, because whenever I think of Steve Martin, I think of Chevy Chase, mm. uh, and, and and then and and Martin Short, the yeah. Three Amigos. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I remember watching that 
out of the video store at school uh, uh, when when I was at school. And Been a moment. I, 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 I still I, eulogising I, Maggie Smith, by the I, way. I, just I, 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 I used to be able to do whatever that fucking dance, what the, the three amigos. I can't remember it now. It's it's so long since I watched it, but I I, I was one of those people. Oh, can you I wish it? we had the camera this one. Can, can, can you do it? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <coughs> hey, what? <laughs> That's it! That's it! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right? Talk, do it again for us. Get up, get up, we'll do it again. Well, the three amigos. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that is the most I'm doing tonight. I yeah. now feel sick. Thank you for that. My <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> uh, that was, you know, it, it, it was it, infamous. It, it's, it's on Amazon Prime. I, I yeah. think I'm going to watch that. But back to Maggie Smith, who's still dead, yeah. by yeah. the way. So, yeah, so it explains why I've always had her in my head as an old woman. But while I was doing research on that, I was looking her up the other day, and I seen photos of her when she was in her 20s. And I'll tell you what, I fucking would. Ten. <laughs> absolute ten. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's a knockout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see it. I can see it now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I, I really wish we had cameras just so, so we could we could we, we could record the the, 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 the reaction of of, <laughs> of of your other half at the moment. Well, you know, <laughs> we at the moment <laughs> she can pass it. Her reaction right now. Oh right, okay, it's just the way you wear, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the moment, you, know, you got a shelf life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's Maggie Smith. She'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. All right. So, we're going to move on to happier stuff now. And now we finally know who's going to be solving crimes on Earth. Because we're going to talk about fucking Green Lanterns, the TV show. So, we talked last month. teaming up with He-Man? <laughs> Don't, we've got fucking... We're, we're going to get to <laughs> that. Oh, we've got He-Man news later. We're, we're, I am not oh, a happy bunny. I, 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 you might. I have things to mention. Oh, you fucking mm. bastard. <laughs> so, last month we talked about potentially Josh Brolin or Ewan McGregor. We're going to be taking on the role of Hal Jordan. But according to Deadline... Kyle Chandler will be playing the man without fear. No, no, not not that man without fear, the other one. Um, yeah, uh, Kyle Chandler, obviously his best known is facing off against King Kong in Peter Jackson's no, movie, King Kong. No, he's not. He's best known for early edition. And he's also well known for facing off against King Kong in that movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. What's he got against that fucking monkey? <laughs> Seriously, he's, he's fought two versions of that fucking gorilla by now. Spe- 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 uh, speaking of monkeys... Whatever. <laughs> speaking oh, of, thanks, Paul. Speaking of monkeys, has anybody seen the trailer for the Robbie Williams movie? What the fuck's that all about? Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, it, it seems more like a biopic for um, the monkeys than anything. <laughs> uh, you know, no, no gorillas. Sorry, gorillas. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Why? Why is Andy Serkis from Planet of the Apes playing playing Robbie Williams? <laughs> well, that's Andy Serkis got Andy Serkis. Yeah, we'll talk about him in a minute as well. But yeah, uh, Kyle Chandler seems to have sort of name for, for for apes. I don't know why. But yeah, early edition. You damn dirty apes. Does anyone remember early edition about the man who used to get I'm tomorrow's newspaper a day early and he got and save people from dying or solve crimes and stuff like that? Mm, I, 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 I was. It rings was, a bell. Was, now you've said it out. And loud. I had um, what I was his say, name? I want to um, say it was on Sky. In the 90s, Sky. so it's not a show I would have got to see at the time. I'm just aware of it. It also had, oh, what's his name? Um, the guy who was Mr. Johnny Five in Short Circuit, but oh he clearly God. wasn't an Indian. Um, fish, 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 yeah, something like that. Fisher Stevens. Yes. Yeah, the guy who, who did the worst stereotypical yeah. Apu Indian yes. racist stereotype, it's horrible. but he's not Indian at all. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That Those movies have not aged well. What the short circuit movie? Yeah, you know I I need to rewatch those because I, I do I love still, them though. I have a lot of time for Johnny Five. Wow, oh, Johnny Five! I would, he should do a new short circuit movie just to bring Johnny Five. You know, back. Yeah, yeah, I, I, there's 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 a um, there's a guy in Wrexham who has a full size Johnny Five Ooh. that he takes to conventions. Oh, I, speaking I, I, of Wrexham, I've, I've seen it. Are you going next week? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I thought I thought you were going to be our roving reporter next week. No, no, sorry, I I I, I just haven't got. Uh, time or energy well there's a comic con in, in Wrexham next week if yeah. anyone wants to go yeah but uh, we were we were supposed to be doing we, it we, we would have gone I got an acting you, job yeah, you're, you're be busy asked. and uh, you know, I, I didn't really and Amara on, is yeah. probably only going to turn up at like five minutes before closing anyway yeah so that, that's how she do so <laughs> do you think she actually listens to these episodes back I don't know Amara if you do I want you to text me the word flip dinger I don't <laughs> know that's not a word but text it me that's how I'll know. Um, okay. 
So, yeah, we've no word on who John Stewart's going to be in Green Lanterns yet, but the search is narrowing, and apparently film and shoots begin in early 2025, so it shouldn't be too much now, longer now before we find out. We're going to stick with DC, and James Gunn has confirmed that a Robin-centric animated movie called Dynamic Duo is in the works, and it will see Dick Grayson and Jason Todd team up. Okay. So it's um it's it's Night Nightwing and Red Hood. No, it's, it's apparently it's Robin centric is what they're calling this. Yeah, well now, they they are both Rob, uh, former Robins, but well you know. the, uh, the 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 logline which is apparently official but not official sees two teenage orphans teaming up to solve crime, which you know is what it is. Um, no no word of whether this is going to be set in the DCU or whether it's going to be an Elseworlds tale, but we know the Brave and the Bold, the Batman movie that's coming, will feature Damian Wayne as as Robin. So there's every chance that it could slot in somewhere. And the animation studio, which is called Swaybox, who's working on this, is um, I've seen a test foot test reel of uh, of how they work because they work in a combination of animation, stop motion, puppeteering, and mocap. Okay. And on their website, you can see. Footage where they basically try to redo sections of the Iron Giant in their animation style, and the best way I can describe it is, is it looks like, um, is, is it looks like Pixar. It would if it were done by people who make Coraline. So Pixar styles. Right. So imagine like with you know, real shadowing. With yeah, real but they look like Coraline. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing's very bright. Nothing's. It's it's you can tell it's, it's CGI, but it looks learn. but it looks kind of stop motiony in the actual yeah. So it's the only way I can really describe it. Oh, okay. But it looks cool. really interesting. I'd be interested to see what they do with that. But yeah. Right now, whether we know it's going to be... Whether these Robins are going to cross over into the DCU or not, the only way we're really going to find out is when they actually cast who's playing as Robin. Yeah. Whether it's kids who you could actually see playing those roles, you know, in later down the line or not. Yeah. But we will wait and see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Last piece of DC news. It's an update to last month. As we mentioned before, James Gunn has now actually confirmed that Peacemaker Season 2 will indeed air after Superman is released. Because there was a rumour that Lex Luthor would turn up in it. And as I say, it's going to be after <coughs> Superman. So that kind of has a spoiler as to the fate of Lex Luthor in, uh, in the Superman movie. Make of that as you will. Yeah, I mean, like... You're not going to kill Luthor. You're not going to kill Lex Luthor. No, no, you don't. You know, it's like, you don't, you don't kill off, like, I don't oh, know, well, Dr. I mean, Octopus or the Green Goblin or not. Like, hang on, wait. You don't kill off the Joker. Oh, hang on, wait. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, to be you fair... Don't kill generals. Wait, to, to, hang on. To, to be fair, Lex, just like any other comic book character, has died at least once. Yeah. But had a way to come back. He always does. They yeah. always do. And and he came back with lots of hair as his own son. Yes, he did. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ninety 90s DC, yeah. where everybody had yeah. really long hair. He did. He did. And that was in the. Um, and then he he lost it all again practically overnight in the yes. Bizarro World storyline. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, we're gonna stick with saying about Peacemaker. We're gonna stick with John Cena now. And John Cena, wrestler turned doctor, has signed on to play the lead in a movie based on. And I shit you not. Matchbox cars. Yeah, that's that's not unusual. Not like Tom Jones, where'd you turn up from? <laughs> Fuck's sake. I, I mean, I assume this is going to be like a family-friendly version of Fast and Furious. But how do you make a movie about match car, Matchbox cars? Well, ah, oh, pitch me a movie about Matchbox cars. I, I I I don't care how you make it as long as there's a loop the loop involved. The ha- that was that was it. That's all I need. Is that yeah. it? Yeah, a loop the loop. Just John Cena go around. Because last la- la- last year Mattel announced that J.J. Abrams is doing Hot Wheels, Leading so, the so it, which is basically the same thing. Oh, do you reckon we'll have like a a a a, 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 a deep impact? Armageddon situation where we have two uh, yeah. Matchbox versus Hot Wheels. Yeah. Micro yeah. Machines comes out on Big VHS time. like a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about us, lads. Oh, God. Yeah. That sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that pitch me your, a fucking that movie. Is your, that is your only... Pitch me a John, a John Cena starring Matchbox car movie. Okay, we're not gonna, I'm, I'm going to do it pitch, okay. a Pixar style. I'm going to do it like toys. Like, no, it's going to be live action. Act, yeah. Oh. It's John Cena. John Cena's not going to voice a car, is he? Well... Owen Wilson did. It's called Cars. It worked. I d- it's, 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 it's a, it's a superpowers thing, right? Right. Yeah, go on. Where, where they've got the matchbox cars. Yes. But to do stuff, they make them real sized. 
So, okay. they, it's, so it's, a, it's a bit kind of Ant Man y the way they can shrink. Uh, you like grow, grow, grow and shrink like stuff. Lamborghini Bugatti, I choose you! you. <laughs> Bugatti Veyron! That's the one. I choose you! Bugatti Ve- Lamborghini Bugatti, what am I talking about? <laughs> Ferrari Tessera, spot, spot, spot the guy whose dad used to work for the AA and oh, knows no. nothing about cars. Yes. <laughs> Ford Fiesta, go! <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, um, but okay. um, yeah, I I I I I still have boxes of all, my old Matchbox cars in the <laughs> You're shed somewhere. The piss. My box was on micro machines. I've got oh loads God. of them. Loved them. But at least you're smaller. You can get more in the box. Yeah, got loads. Got loads more. Yeah. Mm, and yeah. he, and he, he's okay when bagels break into his house at Christmas now. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that and Lego. Yeah, game yeah, yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> Try it now, you filthy animals. Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so so that's literally the pitch. Then it's just yeah. the pitch. Yeah, a loop for loop, and yeah. And, and and yeah, maybe make a few fails. Po- po- fails po- po- loop Pokemon loop so we with gro- get behind. Gro- is that, 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 that's the plot of the movie. He's got to try. His dad died trying to oh. loop the loop, and he's got to redeem the family name by doing the loop the loop. And it's just like, no, God, she. If you loop that loop one more time, you're gonna die. His granddad died as well. And yeah. the, the, before that, they all want. They all attempt it. They all fail. But yeah. John Cena's the one. He's got to do it. It's the last time. It's the, yes. the, the loop. The loop is being torn down to make way for a megalopolis <laughs> supermarket. As yeah. It's happening. Oh, That's come it. on. Needles drop. Just Let's like go. You've got one week to learn how to loop the loop, otherwise the family business is gone forever. Don't know who this guy is, I but he's did. like he's Stan Gilbert. Like, Gilbert Sounded like Stan Lee to me. Are you <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey? <laughs> Let me tell you something. There you go. It's just the eyes. Can't see that you gotta loop the loop before it goes. So yeah, <laughs> that's, that's 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 gonna be it. Uh. <laughs> anyway, mm. I was I was going a bit more like you gotta beat him, Rock. You gotta beat him. Trying to be Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. So it's yeah Mickey bad. as Gold Gable Gottfried. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. And he's got to loop the loop before. Yeah, he could, yeah so he'd have, he said he'd have him chasing remote control cars around a chicken pen. Remote control chickens. That's like it. It. <laughs> come, coming next year, the cheap British version, Corgi and Dinky. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're twi- maybe they're, maybe they're his twin just brothers. A, just a classier it's, film. No, they're yeah. the people who want to tear, tear down the loop the loop to make their fucking British supermarket no, hypermarket no, thing. No. They're the ones that sabotage it every year. Oh, Stop yeah. it because they're the British villain. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could be like the Cray Twins and Tom Howard. Tom Howard, Tom Hardy Tom play both of them. <laughs> Tom Howard, who's Tom Howard? <laughs> Who the fuck is Tom Howard? <laughs> I don't know. Can we Tom Howard? I need to... <laughs> what are you on tonight? <laughs> I don't know. And where can I get some? <laughs> Tom Howard. I don't know who he is, but yeah, let's get him on the phone. Mandy Warmings, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, okay. Speaking of Tom Hart, Howard, Hardy, whatever his name is. Uh, Tom Tom sat enough, right? Um, he's a new trailer for Venom: The Last Dance dropped, uh, starring my distant cousin-in-law Tom Hardy. Uh, it dropped this month uh, and reveals that the big mad of the movie will actually be Null, the god of the symbiotes. Yep. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise, given that um, King in Black, uh, which introduced Null, was was, was only like <laughs> introduced Null was only like four years ago. Yeah. So well, that's, yeah. that's 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 quite he's quick keep, for it to come to the cinema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they burnt a lot of it in the last film, though, didn't they, with the other with mm. the other symbiotes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, well, so in the first film, then we only had Carnage. Mm. Yeah. And to people that don't read the comic books, so like me, because I'm only read Lethal Protector, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what they should have done, they should have brought in Matt Gargan and had him take on the suit and become the second Venom and all this kind of... That's what they could have done. I'd love to but, see... Um, I'd love to see... Anti Venom. Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. Oh, Agent oh, Venom. Agent, yeah, yeah. Agent with Venom without, and, and without his legs. Venom <laughs> Space Knight. That, that's, that's the bit I want to see. Agent think. Venom and Venom Space Knight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rom. Yeah. Well, it, it, this, this is it during the period where uh, Marvel have, didn't have uh, the, 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 the rights to Rom. They, they made Venom Space Knight. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I'm reading all the old Rom comics at the moment. At that and Micronauts. You're reading Rom comics, are you, Paul? R- Rom comics. <laughs> He's got Julia Roberts on the brain. He's got all that, yeah. Uh, um, anyways, rom, so... Rom, 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 rom was cool. <laughs> rom, 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 rom was cool. Rom, rom. You sound like a dog trying to get indoors. Oh. Trying to get someone's attention. Um, anyway, so Noel, God of the Symbiotes. Uh, Scoopers have since revealed that he will be a completely CGI character who will be played uh. by none other than director of the previous Venom movie, Andy Serkis. What? Yeah. Gollum versus Venom. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> okay. 
you are! What are you doing here? Eddie, get him away from me! I don't want to be your friend! Stay away from me! Ah! Like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That's, that's my favourite moment. Any time the Gollum is screaming in yeah. those Lords of the Rings yeah. movies is my favourite moment. Um, yeah, anyway. We're going to stay with Null, though, actually, moving on to the next story. And <coughs> the rumours are that Sony and Marvel had this kind of beef as to what they wanted Spider-Man 4 to be. Marvel wanted it to be a grounded Spider-Man and Daredevil team up to take on Kingpin kind mm-hmm. of story. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's kind of being covered by the Daredevil TV series that's coming out. And uh, Sony wanted it to be another multiversal extravaganza, obviously building on the on the success of uh, Toby and Andrew coming in from Spider-Man 3. And it seems like Sony have got their wish, as the rumours are that right now Spider-Man 4 will be called The King in Black. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. And okay. it will see Tom Howard's Venom uh, <laughs> and and Tom Holland's Spider Man teaming up to take on Null. So that's going to be it. So, okay. I mean, you can't boil down the end of the zone. They are pushing go. this Venom film as the last. One. Yeah. They are pushing it as. Yeah. But his last go, their last bit. Well, apparently no. not. Apparently not. It's going to come over to the MCU. Is it, and isn't it actually called like the final chapter? Or something? It was called the last dance. The last yeah. dance. Yeah. And in the in the say trailer, they show that Venom gets addicted to gambling. Have you seen that? <laughs> I need more money. That's what he's like. <laughs> That's what that pisses me off. I don't like that Venom voice. I was telling you this earlier, wasn't I? I'm saying I don't, I don't like the Venom voice. It's just like Tom 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 Howard's all like, well, you know, we've got to be friends and get on. And he's like, Eddie, we are friends now. You are part of me, and I am part of you. I will make you eggs for breakfast. John Hollywood. What's, yeah, it's yeah. John Hollywood. It's oh my god. Right. It's symbiote John Hollywood. <laughs> ha! Yeah. Yes, it is John Hollywood. <laughs> oh my so god. There's no difference. Maybe maybe that's why the John Hollywood. It's, I am just Venom, but John Hollywood is my Venom. Who knows? You want to? I want to watch that film. <laughs> you want to watch, watch Venom, but yeah. it's, it's John, John Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Okay, cool. That'll, that'll work for me. Anyways, I think it was like the day after we did last did our show here, they announced that the director of Spider-Man 4 is going to be Destin Daniel Cretton, who directed Shang-Chi and The Legend mm-hmm. of the Ten Rings, because he was supposed to be doing Avengers Kang Dynasty, but that kind of fell in that the That went bin. away. That so Marvel giving him something to do, apparently, and said, yeah, lad, go and, go and do yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, this isn't your fault. Yeah. So, I mean... Shang-Chi had some decent action in it. I, I yeah. really enjoyed that film. Yeah, the the scaffolding was fight was pretty cool. And so the was bus, the bus. Yeah. The bus was absolutely amazing. Speaking of bus fights, oh, that's what I'm going to tell you about later. There's ooh, a bus fight in bu- that. Getting a fight on a bus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, going to cool. have a fight on a bus. Come on, let's go. The bus station's over there. Yeah, bus station. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm trying to think which bus I want to get on. <laughs> there's some buses around here I really don't want to find. Anything that's going away from Warrington. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. in any bus that goes to Runcorn. No, we don't get on that bus. We avoid that bus. That's what I'm saying. Like the plague. Yeah, but I'm not scared of them. What? You're I'm not scared, scared of them. No, I'm no, not scared of them. No, I'm scared of some you, of the places in Warrington. Yeah, but when you get off, you'll be in Runcorn. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Gross. Yeah. Right. Anyways, <laughs> um, stay, staying with Spider-Man, talking about Andrew Garfield. He might like hate Mondays, but he loves paychecks. As apparently the rumour is that he signed up for not one, but two more movies with, with Marvel. Naturally, one would assume that Secret Wars is going to be one of them. Um, yeah. The question is, what's the other one going to be? Could it be the um, Doomsday? Or could it be King in Black? Because he did say he'd love to fight an alien. As he's, he's the only Spider-Man who hasn't fought an alien, remember? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who knows? No word on if Tobey Maguire's returning yet, but that kind of seems inevitable, doesn't it? I for Secret I, I, I'm all right if he doesn't. I really oh, am. I'd like I, to see him. I, him and Wolverine I thoroughly, deserve to see each other. On, on I thoroughly enjoyed Andrew Garfield's performance in that film. I, I think he was... That moment where, he's, where yes. he saves. I know, yeah. what mean. I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. When you just say that moment. That moment because he's, he's trying to... You just see the emotion in his face yeah. at the end. Are you like, okay? Yeah, are you? I yeah. saved this one. Yeah, I managed it. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. And he's a good actor. He's, he's very good. Oh, yeah. He never... Do, he never pro- nah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Like, yeah. I mean, we, 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 we remember him all the way back in Doctor yeah, Who Doctor with Who, David yeah. Tennant. Yeah. Even I recognised him. When he, when he popped up in um, yeah, Daleks in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dark to my hand. Ah, yes, the one with the pigmen. Okay, <coughs> staying on the topic of Spidey, one more time. We've actually got some comics news, believe it or not. You're <laughs> shitting me. Oh, no. You know, those pieces do, of do, paper do, with do the pictures actually, on them. Do we actually do things to do with comics? Well, uh, well, if, if, if you're a Patreon follower, then, yeah, uh, you, you, you actually know we do because we were talking about that earlier. And yeah. if you aren't on Patreon, if you, you missed out. If you aren't on Patreon, you missed out. Hello, it's me, Dinky, and this is my brother, Corgi. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
We're going to tear down this loop to loop, and John Cena will be without a loop to loop to loop to loop. Brilliant. Sign me up. With Tom Howard, he can play your brother. So, uh, <laughs> right. Uh, back in 2007, Peter Parker and Mary Jane's marriage was ended, and Peter made a deal with Mephisto to rewrite history. DuckTales. Hey, there. there's somebody who finally so, got mentioned in the MCU. And I haven't seen that this week. Um, no, so I haven't seen this no, week. No spoilers either. on this one. Uh, yeah, Agatha all along. Good show so far. Anyway, um, so yeah, he made the deal so that everyone forgot that he was Spider-Man and Mr. Stowe, basically the devil in the in the Marvel Universe, just went, yeah, okay, but I'm taking your marriage as well. So that was sad. And pe- ever since then, people have wanted Ma- Peter and Mary Jane to get back together. But at Baltimore Comic Con a few weeks ago, Marvel editor Tom Brevort um, stated that there is company mandates that say that Spider-Man and Mary Jane can get back together. Which they have, and then they're off again, and yeah. on again, and off again. I but mean, you know, they're off again at the moment. The rule is that they cannot get married. Now, this doesn't count for alternate universes. There's only six Yeah, yeah, six. yeah. I mean, the, the new ultimate universe is, is a great married, example yeah. of how well married Peter and, and Mary Jane yeah. work. Um, yeah, so, but they're not allowed to get married in the 616 continuity anymore. Mm-hmm. Which is a shame. But, you know, rules change all the time. And let's just remember that Amazing Spider-Man 1000 is coming up. Uh, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man. 1, I, I, yeah. I just, not too far away from now. I, 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 I don't like the way they got split up more recently. Because, well, I, I mean... I, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm probably the only one here who's... Wasn't re- she dating some comments. other dude? And like no, no, no. What happened was Mary Jane got sucked into an alternative universe and where, where, where time travelled... Uh, t- time passed at a different rate while Spidey was trying to get to her and save her. Uh, so in the long amount of time she was fucking waiting forever... Uh, Did she come she, after the time warp looking like Maggie Smith? No, but oh. um, uh, she, 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 she met another bloke and basically came back to the 616 with yeah. bloke, bloke and kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She was seeing some other dude, yeah. yeah. yeah well, it, it wasn't quite that simple. But um, well, yeah, uh, the, the kids ended up not being real. The bloke is, and she's now the superhero jackpot. Comics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, and, and she's had a couple of really good team-ups uh, with uh, Black Cat. Ah, yes, yes, I've seen. So, it's, yes, yes, those yes. panels. M- 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 MJ and Black Cat together is a, a good team-up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. You know what's bad? That might be good. Do you know what's bad? What's bad? He-Man! Yes. Yeah. So, He-Man's coming back. And not only is it set on fuck it, but now they've killed every chance of me wanting to see this movie because they have signed box office poison Jared Leto as Skeletor. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got nothing. Even I can't say nice things about this shit. No. I, 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 I can see the vein just going, it's ooh, I want to pop right there. You stop looking at my veins. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Jay. There's this vein that's just going. Yeah. I call it Jared Leto. You're, 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 you're going to. I have can't a, wait for it to pop. If you don't calm down, you're going to have a stroke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you smell toast? <laughs> no, sadly. Okay. One day. Um, one day. Um, can can uh, do you know? Uh, have you have you seen what the new He-Man comic is? No, but it's if it's a crossover. Oh so, God. so, so it's it, it's it's two two companies working together. Totally it's called He Man versus Tally Tubbies. It's count. called Turtles of Grey Skull. Fuck off. He Man versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't like it. It's actually really quite good I so don't far. Like it. Yeah. Uh, well, going uh, back they, to ha- they have done He-Man uh, versus Thundercats already a few years back. Good. Makes sense. Well, yeah. going back that, to that, that the other things good. that I don't like, yeah, Jared Leto as Skeletor. It's going to be awesome, but it also means that a million memes are on standby. Uh, I can just see, like, you know, that bit in Attack of the Clones where he's just like, magnificent, are they? One million ready with another two million on standby. Whatever it is, you can see memes after memes <laughs> yeah. after memes. I just said it's going to be Skeletor open time on June the 5th, 2026. Mm. I just want to know how, you know, he's, how, he's, how he's going to do this. Is the method actors going to be doing fucking face off? off. 
<laughs> you, you know, boob. Yeah. You, you know, you know. This is wanking off an invisible man. You know. <laughs> you know, it's just as well Kath couldn't make it tonight because she she does. She quite loves them thirty she, seconds to Mars. As, as, yeah. Well, yeah. she's got she's got their logo as as as, as a tattoo on her arm. That's yeah. that's thirty seconds to Mars. That that logo. She she does like. She's met him. Met him at a gig. Um, she, she now, does like this, is this Leto? Jared Leto when he's you know gives a shit and shaves, or is this homeless looking? Um, he t- uh, well, it, it, it's there's the, only two looks for that man, isn't there? Well, it, it, all all I can recall from what she told me is um, he he doesn't like touching people, so he he wears surgical oh gloves. My God, he's a twat. He's one of those people. He's a fucking twat. I'm so glad he got an axe in his face in American Psycho. <laughs> And then he got his face pasted in and fight club. They're the only two films of his that I like, and ironically, he gets fucking met- messed up in both of them. Yeah, I'll give you that. So, um. yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to move to Netflix now. And James Cameron has been on the publicity trail for Terminator Zero. I so series. love that show. I must have, yes. I good? thought it was really good. I, I got through that in in a, a few days. Okay. I, I really. Um, the material really lends itself to anime. And you know, they, it, it, it's not just a, an anime. The robots re- can hear us. It's not just an anime reboot of uh, the Terminator franchise. It, it, it you know takes the whole the, the whole entirety of effectively the, 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 the multiple timelines of, of Terminator and, and sort of works with that. So um, yeah, it, 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 it's it's its own thing. And I think it's well worth it. And yeah, they're, they're only like twenty-five minute episodes, so I'll yeah, give it a go. But, but yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you like your anime, give it, give it a go. Well, James Cameron's been out promoting that, and he's actually announced that there's uh, going to be new entries in the franchise, new movies. From what he says, it seems like these will be based on new characters finding their feet in the post-apocalyptic, post-judgment day world. Okay, good. So good. That's what I this means that Arnie's so not going to be out about. Four. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yep. Terminator Salvation. Yes. Yeah, there's not going to be any Arnie knocking about unless it's the Arnie that who film went back in time and then came back and then turned into a liquid lot metal Arnie. Of and issues. Everyone knows about the issues that that film had. But when I watched Terminator 3, sadly, in the cinema. I, I saw Rise of the Machines yeah, in the cinema. I, and it wasn't what you expected because no. you just had Terminator followed by Terminator 2, one of the greatest films ever made. And then. That's why I love our Terminator 3, the swerve. It's just not about yeah. stopping Judgment Day. It's yeah. about keeping people safe to survive Judgment yeah, and Day. it's good. It, it, it is, it is. But I, what I wanted to then see, I even said it, coming out of the cinema that night, I want to see the film where it's this war we keep hearing about. Well, we did that's see what that. I want. And that's, that's what I want. I want more stuff then. Salvation, just not a very good movie. It wasn't a very good movie. No. It's a shame, but... Although, do you want one, th- one thing I do miss from Terminator 3? And I wish they'd never cut it out. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say? <laughs> what's his name? Oh, what's his name? Sa- 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 Sergeant, Sergeant Sweeney. Master something. Sergeant William Candy. <laughs> Master <laughs> Sergeant William Candy. Candy. Oh, I love it. That. Oh. If no one's seen that, it's the deleted scene where you see Arnie as a soldier. Before, but he's the, the guy that the T-800 is based on. And it's just Arnie, but he's been voiced over by Samuel L. Jackson. Doing the most goofiest voice in the world, like, "Oh, look at me! I'm a soldier. I've got my thousands of wheels. You can it. Oh, I'm really big and strong. I got muscles." And then the, the army soldier guys are in the back. The cybertron guys are just like, "I like him, but I don't. I'm not keen on the voice." And then there's just some bloke at the back who goes, goes "We can fix it." <laughs> <laughs> there's like this wee, 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 weedy guy at the back, yeah, with a his like, voice. Looks, yeah, it looks like Wesker off uh, Resident Evil. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's that's. The, I was actually talking to someone about that at work this week, mm. and he'd never seen it before. I said, "Get YouTube up on your phone right now. YouTube. Watch that scene." YouTube. Uh, yeah. I'm all about more Terminator stuff, though. So yeah. I will watch Speaking it. Speaking of YouTube, guess what I watched on yesterday on the YouTube? What did you watch on YouTube? Dogma. <laughs> the entirety of Dogma was just available for yeah, free you, on YouTube. If you okay. don't own it on disc, that's pretty much the only way you're going to get to see exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. yeah we I, 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 I still have an imported DVD. I just have, no, no. I just have nothing I can actually play no. it on at the no, moment because no. none of my DVD players are multi-region at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yes, yeah. yes, the um, the whole the whole Weinstein of it yeah. stops stops it basically being re-released on Blu-ray, yeah. much to the chagrin of well, pretty Do much you know everybody. What I'm saying about Weinstein, I saw a, a photo, a, a, um, a poster, it was a clearly fake poster for like a new scary movie film, and at the top it said, "Don't worry, we put the last producer in prison." <laughs> like that, and it, just, it just made me laugh. That's the only thing about that poster that made me laugh. Yeah. Um, but anyway, staying with, staying with robots and stuff like that, James Wan has abandoned the sea because Aquaman 2, 
No, no, Aquaman 2 is gone. So, well, obviously, the old DCEU is gone. No trench, no nothing. Um, and it wasn't actually a trench movie. It was a Black Panther movie. Oh, I yeah. thought he was doing the trench. No, well, it, it was originally announced as the trench, but it was actually a Black Panther yeah. movie. It was a secret. Um, but he's been going away from the sea after Aquaman 2's dismal performance and is headed to Delta City as he's working on an Amazon TV series of Robocop. Yeah, because Robocop as a TV series has always worked so well. Eh, yeah. I don't mind it. I Put mean, face so, 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 so we, 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 we had a, you know, what, what, what was it? Early 90s, you know, the police episode. procedural Robocop show that was a bit dumbed down and had a kid in it. Oh, and it had a that ghost. That last, lasted a season. It had a ghost that ran the computer. Oh, that too. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and there's two animated and, series. And then we had the, the uh, four-part the, 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 the four you know, series of TV movies. With Robocable? Yes. His mate. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah I've, 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 I've had that on DVD for years, and I've right. literally watched the first episode. They did a four-part four miniseries called The Prime Directives. And in one of them, you meet Murphy's former partner, Cable. And, oh, God, no, Cable dies at the end of part one, and he gets to come back as a Robocop as well. And he becomes but, Robocop. But, but, but in black. Yeah. With red, yeah he's right, Robocop, okay. but, but in black. black. Yeah. So he's the bad guy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mate. Yeah. It's, oh, um, God. Yeah. Like, well, kid, I mean, like admittedly. Kid, car. Ad, ad, Basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, so so as, as you've pointed out, Neil Blomkamp was working on a Robocop yeah. movie. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd have rather seen that than James Wan. He even it. said that he wanted it to be literally like the next day after Robocop 2. He didn't want to do Robocop 3. He just wants to do Robocop, Robocop 2, and then Robo Robocop... Robocop 2 plus 1! Yeah, his new Robocop would take over from there, and it was going to be done in the style of like Paul Verhoeven. There was going to be loads of satire and Boobs Avatar. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'd buy yeah. that for a dollar and all yeah. that kind of stuff. He wanted to do that. But um, yeah, they keep f why do they keep on keep, keep fucking Neil Blomkamp over? He's supposed to do that alien movie. He's supposed to do Robocop. He still can't do District 10. Just let the man do what he wants to fucking do, please. Yeah. Just let him get on with it. Mm. Uh, anyways, that's all the news that I've got. So I'm going to hand over to Paul now. He's going to talk about stuff that he likes to talk about, which is Doctor Who stuff in the Doctor Who section, which Paul does. Called the Doctor Who section. Paul, go now. Hold on to your lapels, Chessington. It's the Doctor Who news. And yet again, it's a bit of a quiet one uh, because you know, pretty much, we're not going to get anything until they they, they start the, um, the 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 proper I build up to, to to the Christmas special, uh, Joy to the World. Um, and 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 um, to be fair, uh, if you don't know that that's the title of the episode, it just sounded like you just did a bit of Randy and Christian. Joy to the world. Yeah. Um, uh, even Jason Quinn, editor of Doctor Who magazine, uh, had expected this and uh, gave over most of his editorial last month to talking about his visit to the Hooverville convention that I talked about last month. So uh, that's cool. Um, speaking of Christmas, though, uh, the character options recreation of the new Sonic Screwdriver oh, yeah. is now available to buy with an exclusive uh, gold electro-plated edition available online directly from character options. You say screwdriver, remote control. Yeah. 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 Um, and then you get a, a sort of a more normal version that will be in the shops and, yeah. and that. But well, um, you've got to be going yeah, on your the, shelf. The, 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 it, I don't know where. It, uh, it's not going to fit on that shelf. That shelf is now full. I'm going to have to find somewhere else for that fucker. Um, Insert your own punchline there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Three uh, speeds. So, uh, right. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we're, we're rerunning go gags from Curse of Fatal Death, yeah. are we? Okay. This month's Paul will be playing by Joanna Lumley. <laughs> and I am Tom Howard. <laughs> Tom who? Yes, exactly. Um, anyway, um, but um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's that time of year where, you know, if, 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 if you've got a Doctor Who fan that you're buying for Christmas, this is the kind of thing. Why don't you really buy a Doctor Who fan for Christmas? We don't own people anymore, Paul. This isn't slavery times. Slavery times. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you call it? Yeah. You yeah. them you know, there old in you know, like, slavery times. You know, you have the Tudors, the, the Stuarts, the Victorians, and the slavery times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a whole museum about it in town. Uh, uh, yes, there is yeah. in, in Liverpool uh, the, at the Albert Dock. Yeah. Just, just behind where they used to make Granada reports. Yes. Mm. Slavery times. Yeah. 
And in, in fact, one for all the family. In, in fact, in, in fact, in <laughs> fact, if you look very carefully in the background in uh, at the end of Flux, you can see that museum. Yes, because that's where the TARDIS literally landed across the, across the dock from it. Yes. Mm. Anyway, mm. 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 Chessington. Mm. Um, so Big Finish have announced that uh, a forthcoming adventure for the Eighth Doctor is going to see the return of his original writer for the first time since 1996. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So uh, Matthew Jacobs has written. I've got a bone to pick with you. Okay. Carry on. Do your yeah. thing first. Has written Puccini and the Doctor. Ah, uh, Puccini, Madame Butterfly. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's where it's coming from. Because yeah. uh, 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 Matthew was saying um, there's there's, there's a whole, the, the whole thing about how it was so sad that he didn't finish Turandot and stuff like that, and that's what he wants to do with. Uh, Tim McKinney will be playing the composer. Ooh, yeah. I like Tim McKinney. Yes. Yeah. So he's the guy who ripped his face off in the Ud episode. Yeah. 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 Um, sorry, you wanted to p- pick pick a bone. Yes. So um, last month we were talking about the, um, the 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 live big finish that he did. Yes. And I said I asked, will they be putting that out as an? Will they be recording it and putting it out? And you said no. They're only going to do the studio version. They are polishing them up and putting them for sale. Oh, okay. They hadn't. They're going to do like before. a best of. Like they'll take pick the yeah, best. Yeah, they hadn't said that like before. That. They were just making sure that yeah. there, there there was a studio one recorded. Yeah. That you. Know, People on the day would be able yeah. to go home with a version of the show. Yes. So that makes that's sense. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so who who plays the Doctor at the moment? <laughs> at the moment, yes. Sure, you got what? Thank you. Um, you can hear him in a very different role as he's contributed to an R and B track called "Midnight Cowboy" by singer Jade Thurwall, formerly of Little Mix. Oh my God! Uh, he appears as an MC uh, <laughs> on on this track. <laughs> Um, sure, God, what? <laughs> That's right. Um, I mean, to be fair, this, this, there's nothing wrong with this. If Matt Smith could appear on stage with Orbital at Glastonbury, then why not? Um, uh, I mean, I had a listen to it earlier. It's it's not exactly up there with you know John Pertwee's "I Am the Doctor" or Tom per- uh, Tom Baker appearing Tom with Pertwee? Tom Pertwee. Is it Tom Pertwee. Um, Tom Baker appearing with Manson on the album Six. Um, it, but it just occurred to me that if this sort of thing had happened back in the 60s, what would, what, what, what would we have got? So, you know, William Hartnell you know, returning the favour and appearing on a Beatles track? Or, or Patrick Troughton with Bowie? Um, uh, or, or in yes, the, eight, or a, in the a, 80s, I'm man. imagining Peter Davison doing a track with the Human League? Ah oh, well, yes. Um, I, no, my Davison's awful. No, I can't do it. Uh, I can't do it. No, no. yeah, he, he's 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 not an easy no. voice to do. No. no. Um, but um, anyway, uh, next issue. Going back to mentioning Doctor Who magazine, worth mentioning that the next issue is out next week for us. Uh, so by the time you listen to this, it's probably already come out. By the uh, time you listen to this, I'm yeah. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. <laughs> you say from? yeah. Depends. Depends how long Mike. Uh, next time you John to listen to this. Uh, anyway, um, uh, it's it's including a free uh, Target paperback edition of the novelization of the Evil of the Daleks oh, that, nice. that came out. Uh, uh, Last year, uh, that was written by Fraser Hines. So, mm. you know, for, for for those who who like to have their sort of complete paperback edi- editions on shelves, that's 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 the one you want to be getting. I, I'm just slightly concerned looking at the cover that it's going to have a blue spine, um, like the the, the the shooty novels now do. Shoot here, got uh, one. Where, where, whereas all the pre uh, this year novelizations had um, you know, sort of white or cream spines mm-hmm. so i think that's going to you know it's going to be do, that's going to do people's heads in yeah. basically isn't yeah. it yeah um you know it's 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 like i the, you 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 have a set of things, and and there's just one that is. It's like it's like the Doctor Who annuals back in. The, 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 I want to say it's it's Doctor Who annual 1978. For some reason, is like an inch bigger all round than all the other ones. So if you've got them on the shelves, it's like annual, annual, annual. Boop. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's, it's, I was just happy to see you that year. For yeah. <laughs> um. So. Uh, um, it's a good year. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't want to bring us down, but and, and I don't 
often uh, do one of these, but uh, we are doing a Doctor Who edition of Graveyard Dead this 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 month as oh, well. Okay. Okay. Um, Couldn't have brought them up when we were actually doing the main Graveyard Dead bit. No. Yeah, but it's a it's it's uh, because it's Doctor Who related. I wanted to you know, hold it back for this. Okay. Um. So, uh, David Graham, be Graveyard Dead. Now, David Graham. Uh, for Doctor Who fans, was one of the voices, uh, the original oh. voices of the Daleks. Yes. He, he was in the very first uh, Daleks, and he did it you know, during the Hartnell era. Um, and he actually returned last year to record new lines for the Daleks in colour, oh, when they did okay. the re-edits and uh, colourisation. Um, he had also appeared in Doctor Who as Charlie the Burgunder in uh, the, the Gunfighters. Gunfighters, yeah. Uh, and he was also the uh, ill-fated Professor Kerensky in City of Death. Oh, God. Yes, he, he, he who had to be aged to death by uh, his own time machine. Um, and, of course, Paul is playing that role right uh, now. He's researching it, ready to... Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, however... Did he, that he, punchline there? Just making an old joke. What? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, what? Say, yeah. So thank anyone got hearing aids? Thank, thank you, Chatterton. Yeah. Say, yep. Hey. Another one. Anyway, um, he, his vocal talents, however, have entertained multiple generations. Uh, he's best known for his work with Jerry Anderson. Uh, uh, so, Four Feather Falls, Supercar, Fireball XL Five, Stingray. But you know, he was multiple roles in Thunderbirds. Uh, you know, uh, Brains. Uh, Oh shit! Which 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 are the, the, the brains? Boys? The rest. Which, 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 which of the boys was it? Gary or whatever the fuck Gary. his name was. Gary. <laughs> uh, Gary Tracy. Yeah, but I mean, every, every, everybody remembers he was Parker, and he reprised that role for the 2015 show it's Thunderbirds Are Go. Um, younger kids these days will know his voice because he's Grandpa Pig in Peppa Pig. And he was the why. Uh, which, which uh, he, they've, they've still got episodes in the can. We'll still be hearing him as Grandpa Pig until like 2027, apparently. Jesus. And he was, he was the wise old elf in Ben and Holly's oh, Little, Little Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's 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 like my kids grew grew yeah, up with him, just like that, we yeah. did as as Parker and that. Um, he he didn't quite get to his his um. His his message from the king. He he was ninety nine. Oh. Uh, a bit a bit of a Robbed. shame. He's just one day away from retirement. Too. Yeah, he, but um, he, you know, he he was an absolute legend. I did get to interview him at a convention once. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I did a I did a, c- a convention down in fuck where was it? It was somewhere beginning with T, not Telford. Oh, it'll come to me. Um, but um, I, I, so I, w- I was interviewing um, three of the Tracy boys. So it, it was David, uh, it was Max Zimmerman, and it was um, shit. What's his name? Gary. I, I, yeah, yeah. Gar- <laughs> get, get Gary Tracy. <laughs> Bollocks! It'll come to me. Um, but you know, great Tom guys. Howard. He, he was the only one I didn't actually get a photo with that day, which was which which was um, rather stupid of me. Uh, but um, you know, as 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 somebody we know, well, the Doctor Who section was just Paul just slowly and slowly more breaking down as the section goes on. <laughs> His memory starts to fail. I'm <laughs> having memory seizures. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's yeah. Oh, we have a question from the audience. <laughs> Gordon, yes, I'd say G. I was right. G. G. I was close. Gordon. Gordon the gopher, yeah. that's right, yeah. Yeah. Gordon Gary. I wasn't yeah. far off. We don't talk about this, friend. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, th- th- these, these, these three guys had been working together, uh, you know, since the 60s, and it, they, they, they did bounce off each other like, like three brothers. Uh, so is it, I mean, they're all gone now. They, they, that, that Dave, David was the the last surviving Tracy brother, so it, it's it's a shame. You but see, that would have been a glee on your face. They're all gone now. I got them all. I got them all. <laughs> ah! Anyway, um, but uh, <laughs> as somebody we know on podcasting says, big bucket of win. Yes, big. indeed, big bucket. Fa- fa- farewell to David Graham. Um, okay. So and that's me done. So okay, well, big bucket of proverbial. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you said win because that could have been a, a bucket of anything. <laughs> a big bucket of shit. The proverbial big bucket of David win. Graham. 
<laughs> All right, cool. Well, um, that's that. Uh, now we move on to the Any Other Business section. So I'll play the sounder for you. It's time to talk about the weird and wacky things happening around the world with Any Other Business. But we're not actually talking about weird and wonderful things happening around the world this month because we're going to do some more of that improv stuff that we tried last month because I enjoyed it. <laughs> Fair, going, did you? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so this month, I'm going to give you a quote from a movie, yeah. okay? And then I'll give you directions as to how I want you to read that line. Okay. okay so this year, this month, the quote is <clears throat> from Pulp Fiction. Hey. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. For five long years, okay. he wore this watch up his okay, ass. Okay, so who should we go first? Doug, you I'll, go, th- I'll go first. I'll go please. first. I haven't got any, any acting experience no, at all. So no direction. Just like. read the line. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. For five young, long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Paul, give me a little bit more. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Doug, some more. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Paul, as a superhero's catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Doug, as an old lady trying to describe what she wants to a retail employee. <laughs> For five long years, yes. he wore this watch up his ass. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> the Muppets Pulp Fiction. Hey, for five long years, he wore this swatch up his ass. It's just on his wrist. It's just on his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, uh, yeah. testing your friend to make sure that they're paying attention. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for five long years, he was wearing this watch up his ass. <laughs> okay. uh, Paul, trying to uh, trying to seal the deal on the first date. <laughs> 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 oh, wish we had the camera this I'll, one. I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> if he's if he, if he's gonna take him a minute, I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> oh wow, the glasses fell <laughs> off. He's broken. He's broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, oh. <coughs> <laughs> For five long years, he wore. He, what the fuck? Yeah, I, he wore this watch of his ass. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Well, I've come. Uh, do, do, do you want to go? Because you, you see, clearly had an no. idea of it. No, it's just so he could look okay. in. Okay. Well, your one is is uh, say it as if you're uh, as if you're a dad while he's trying to give you the talk. For five long years, he wore this wall in his ass. <laughs> 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 Paul, as the Beastie Boys knew a single. <laughs> <laughs> For five long years, he wa- <laughs> <laughs> he wore this watch up his ass. <laughs> five, five long years, do it. For long years, up <laughs> ass. <laughs> <He's> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Beastie Boys? Yes. yes. For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Sheep <laughs> to Brooklyn. <laughs> With a watch up his ass. Uh, oh, I okay. Stop. Uh, <laughs> Doug, <laughs> like a news announcer on 9-11. What's he going to say no? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he uh, wore the watch for five long years in his house. <laughs> you, you needed Thank to you. wink at the end of that because that's what Michael Burke always did. <laughs> Don't have nightmares. No, 9-11 he didn't make it. <laughs> oh, I think you can oh no, no, no. Mine's a question to the World Trade Center. <laughs> yeah, no, no, my, my, he had just it. And that was the news on the day a thousand people are known to have died. Wink. Not really. Uh, one, uh, okay, Paul, you got the last one. This is an airline pilot's code to let the stewards know that they're about to crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, uh, for five long years. <laughs> I don't think he'd say it like that. 
For how long years? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. For how long years? <laughs> For five long years, he wore this watch up his ass. I wouldn't be like that. You think? I'd be more like... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a uh, steward's announcement. Uh... Students should be aware that for five long years he wore this watch up his ass. He wore this watch up his ass. Thank you. That's what it'd be like. <laughs> uh, don't worry, you see, it can be used as a flotation device, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's that. Um, and now I did have a little idea for a scene that I want you two to. In fact, no. It's, it's for all three of us, in fact. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You're going to be an estate, uh, estate agent. And you're trying to sell a house to me and Paul. You, we are aware, however, that brutal murders happened in this house. <laughs> but you're trying to downplay these events. I'll give it a go. <laughs> um. Okay. So we've walked into the house. Doug is the estate agent. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Right. So, guys, what do you think of the space? Look, absolutely lovely living quarters here. You know, this obviously fireplace. The telly can go up there. I mean, what are your vibes? What do you think? Now, the, the fireplace, does it come with the original pokers? Because I hear that one of those is still in police custody. Uh, that is... I, so, it, 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 it's been... It, they're, they're using it. Oh, they, well, well, they're they, using it, yeah. They're so using they, they, it? They, yeah, when they, when they were here, for reasons, um, they, they saw that and they one of them needed to borrow it, so I let them borrow it. Oh, okay, okay, right, okay. I mean, I, I, it looks nice. I mean, there's, there's lots of... Sp- Space. Um, you could I mean, scream you could bloody murder in here, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's that's quite. It's offline. Sorry. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Fucking beat me to He's it. Got you first. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just I'm, I'm, I'm Pablo for you. <laughs> You're having flashbacks. <laughs> um, yeah, those, those those are really thick walls. Uh, do, 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 do the neighbours hear things? Well, no, because you can get up to whatever you want. The neighbours aren't going to hear a thing. You're not going to hear them. That's the more important oh, thing. Okay. So when you're listening to your television, because that's what we're talking about, your television could be on as loud as you want it to be. So if anything were to happen in here, like your TV no being on too loud or okay. anything, well, I'm like just the neighbours knocking on and saying, an like, can you keep the noise down? Yeah. They're going to be okay with it, and regardless of the time, half nine or not. Okay, so okay. The, so so if anything were to happen, if the worst or the worst was supposed to happen, there's not going to be anyone to save you. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, pardon? What? what? Worst case. Scenario, yeah, it? just yeah, just because you Sorry, know. So, so the the batteries have gone in your remote and you can't turn it down. <clears throat> well, let's just move on to the uh, to the, to, the, to the decor in the room. I, I noticed yeah. there's a lot of flecks of red all over these white walls. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, that is, with, with these ones here. Yeah, just all all yeah. All, all across the room. And in yeah, fact, yeah, these and these are. And, and oh, to be fair, the, the 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 carpet looks a bit stained as well. Mm. To be fair, these to are be fair. from when when we were when we were decorating. Um, somebody had a bit of a nosebleed. That's all. But he is a professional. He carried on. He and, didn't and, stop. And a nosebleed. This it, he's it, a very it, hard it, working it, man, Paul. It's it's uh, that's very hard working. Did, did, did he die from this nosebleed? It's no, it looks it's like a League of Gentlemen no, type no, of he, nosebleed. He, he, he's fine. He is fine. Okay. All right. Okay. What about the uh, the torso in the corner over there? Oh, that's mine. I brought that. That's that's yours. Yeah, I brought that. Oh, so you you you're gonna take that's it? That's coming with me. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, don't cool. worry about yeah. that. What, 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 can I can I just ask why you here? Why why have you got that axe in 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 your hand? Oh, do you, do you, so I can take the torso. Okay, okay. I I got to be said this this place has been priced very competitively. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I, I, in, would, would would you care to comment on? Why? Is there any it's priced why? quite uh, so low. Well, t- as you notice, like when you came in, like you know, the doors, the doors locked behind you. Anyway, we've already established that nobody can hear you from the outside. Right. <laughs> okay. So when I, I, one thing I do want to just clarify is when we came in, you were wearing, in fact, you still are wearing an all-in-one white dust suit. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. and some gloves. Yes. Uh, can I ask, is that normal? Uh, state agent's behaviour, or for me, yes, absolutely. That's, that's okay. there's yeah. there's a lot of plastic been put down, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, well, yeah. that keeps the floor clean, obviously. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Say again. What was your name? Dexter Morgan. Oh, okay, <laughs> just, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll leave that one there. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> There you go. That's just the sort of wanted to try this one. I had a little bit of fun with that one. Don't know about you guys. Okay. Um, well, that takes us through now to the final section of the show, which is where we go beyond the 50-foot nerds. We'd have been there. 
We're all out of news and topics for discussion. The show is spiraling out of control, and the audience are now in charge. You're beyond the 50-foot nerds. Okay. Who's got questions? Now, before we get into the questions, Doug normally starts us off by asking us a set question that he's been yes. doing the last few months. Yeah, yeah. So, what's what's new to you? Um, what have you been watching that you have either been putting off for ages, never got round to, didn't want to, watched it by accident, that kind of thing? So, for me, this <coughs> month has been Six Feet Under. Oh, oh okay. I've never watched Six no, Feet I've Under. No, I've, I've never watched it. It's the most predictable television show on God's green earth. <laughs> Is that the one in the first episode the kid tries to give himself a, uh, a, 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 a circumcision? Is that the one? Or am I getting that confused? No, with a no, that's show? not in the first. No. no. Oh, no, it's Nip Talk, I believe it is. Sorry, yeah. I'm getting confused. So yeah. this is um, talking about Dexter Morgan. Yeah. It's Michael C. Hall. Yeah. Um, as, one, as these two brothers, uh, the dad passes away and they take on the family business. That's right, yeah. Of a funeral hub, fu- funeral parlor. Mm-hmm. It's one of those where every time one of the s- legacy characters in it meets somebody new, you go, right, well, they're going to fuck in the next yeah. 20 minutes. And that's exactly what happens every single time. Oh, me and my missus say, well, this is going to happen next, don't you? And we both look at Now we're five seasons in going, yeah. It's made a chief road That's, for that's what's situation. going to happen. Yeah. Who's, who's the guest star this episode and what's going to happen to them? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, that's what I've doing. Um, I've watched Deadpool again. I've watched Deadpool mm-hmm. Wolverine again because I've now got it on my dodgy box. Um, oh god, it's so good. It it's good, just any it? excuse to fucking talk about that film. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been watching. Have you guys watched anything that's new to you? That you um, got yeah, to? so I um, watched a movie from the eighties that I it inexplicably is popular and did quite well at the time, <laughs> and it was fucking dreadful. Uh, I refer to Cyborg. Oh, <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh. Oh. JC when he's doing the splits over the top of that guy, come <laughs> on, man. Now, it, it's film. got one or two reasonable bits of martial arts in it, but you can tell that this was the period when canon were basically going down the oh, toilet. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, this, this is the movie that... I, uh, you can tell I looked this up afterwards. Yeah. This is the movie that they made because they didn't make the He-Man sequel and Spider-Man and yeah. had a shitload of stuff that they had yeah. already built and sets. needed to use All it. All the yeah. sets from that is from the Attorney a bit soon. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, oh, my God. God, that was a dread. I, I mean, I'm so glad it's am less. I r- am I right? It's so it's glad it's less than 90 minutes long. Because you've watched it recently. It's, it's, it's in my head like I was a kid because I would have watched this when I was a kid. He has a knife in his hand like that. Blades going that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he goes like that and kind of fires it at someone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. It's oh. Re- it's really nice. Not good. No. I mean, you know, this, this, was cut, this, 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 Van Damme was cutting his teeth. Van, 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 I, I, I do not know how, I mean, you know, Van Damme got that off of the back of... Kickboxer? Kickboxer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know how, basically, Cyborg didn't kill his career stone dead. It, it, it was massive. It didn't do anything, it, though. It, it went straight to VHS, Yeah, it? It, 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 it did reasonably well, and, and yeah. People like it. The thing, yeah. thing, thing is, because I'd never actually watched the movie, I just knew the title. I, I'd always assumed Jean-Claude Van Damme was the cyborg. No, the cyborg... Spoilers! Is, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the cyborg is the MacGuffin, and he's just... This, he's just this bloke. Yep. He's just this guy, you he's know? Said, yeah. Um, I, I used that in a quote on Discord. Yeah. Um, so, uh, oh my God, that was awful. Um, yeah. Um, you tell me if you I, 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 like to, to, to make up for it, I did watch the new Beetlejuice movie. We, Kath and I, I went and saw that. Around around it. It. Re- yeah. Really enjoyed that. Um, you know, I'd, 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 I'd never actually watched the original movie Does all the way Hawaiian through. Does he Hawaiian at any point? No. Oh. I, I had never actually watched all of the original movie. So the, the, wow. the, ni- the oh, night before... Watch that on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, really enjoyed that as well. Have you got to 700 years of age and never watched Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know him before he died? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have I watched? Um, really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> Dark Man <laughs> really suffers from the fact that it's very... <laughs> Sorry. Um, it, 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 it knew what it wanted to do, yes. and the technology <coughs> was not there at the time. Oh man! Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad Sam Raimi got to make it because that's the road that brought yeah. us ten years I later. Can still to remember, I can tell you the exact date 
that I watched Darkman for the very first time. Yeah. It was, it was it V-Day birthday. in 1995 when we all had the street parties and shit like okay. that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is I went into my mate's house and he was watching it. And I thought, I'll just sit down with you and watch it. And I watched the entire film. Yeah. Mm. yeah I think that's exactly why I, I watched th- it. Th- th- there's, there's definitely... A a better movie in there somewhere. Definitely, that, uh, that the, the, the whole body horror aspect of oh. of, of, of you know, it's, I, 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 I think it's a better movie at the end when you're actually seeing him with his melted face and shit, rather than just running around trying to look like a that poor bit man's of the fun mummy. When his yeah. when his face is starting to melt and he's mm. like, oh shit, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. That's but so um, I mean, um, I, I, I still can't quite get past the fact that the villain is 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 the autistic guy from L.A. Law. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you know, acting, yeah, I, I get it, but, you know, sometimes you just asso- associate yeah. a particular actor with a particular that character. that was the first, like, movie that I was aware of was a comic book, but was, like, gory and wasn't a yeah. superhero. It wasn't even based on a comic book. No, it was, it, 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 was a super, it was an original yeah, character. Yeah, they've been comic books since. Like, there's been, yeah. a, there's he, been he, Army he, of Darkness versus well, Darkman. He, 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 he wanted to do the shadow, but couldn't. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so he was, came yeah. up with a shadow-like character. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what I did finally get round to uh, binging all of, though, is Interview with the Vampire. Of the TV series, yeah, yeah. Okay. that, I, that I really rate episodes. that. Really rate that. I've been in and it. out of that while my missus has been watching it. Yeah, I, it I really rate it. I mean, it's a long time since I've read the book. It's a long time since I've seen the Tom Cruise I was movie. Kind of impressed with the guy. I'm, I'm sure he's playing Lestat. Is the guy from Game of Thrones? Yeah, who plays one of the? Oh the no, 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 no. Um, uh, the, the, uh, uh, that's no, Louis. Sorry, he's that's playing Louis. Is a, that's Louis. Yeah, um, and he's he's been in Doctor Who as well. Yeah, and I'm impressed with his acting because. I've only ever seen him as the character in Game of Thrones. Yeah, right? no, he's, kind of he's really good. Yeah, and and good. The, 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 the adjustments they have made to you know, Louis' background, yeah. uh, you know, uh, partly with casting and, 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 and partly with the, 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 the change of uh, time and yeah. what have you, it, uh, it's really, really good. And I, I kind of like how um, they, they, they've almost turned the original novel into a... This is a thing that happened in the 70s, um, but it's not entirely what you think it was, and this is really what happened, and we, we've, we've got the real interview now happening today yeah, in, yeah. In, in, in the 21st century and mm. all that. Um, Fun. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of slowly working my way through Mayfair Witches at the moment. I, I, I like the world building they're doing, and they're, they're, they're going to be doing a third show based on the Talamasca and, and, and what have you. Um, it's, I mean, it is a big universe for them to you know b- uh, build stuff on because Anne Rice wrote like a thousand novels um, but uh, yeah yeah if, if it, I mean it's on iPlayer you know if, if, if you've not watched Interview with the Vampire I, I definitely recommend she it. wrote all that while she was jumping out of helicopters and looking for stuff <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's Annika Rice, isn't it? Sorry, I Challenge I Anne Rice. Sorry, with, yeah. the, with the camera constantly yeah. looking at a bum. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, um, what have I been watching then? Um, yeah, what have you been watching? So I started watching a movie called Gothic from like the late 80s, early 90s. Nice. That's uh, Julian Sands is in it. Um, oh, the late Julian Sands. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the, yeah, the late Natasha. Basically, half the cast are dead. Um, and who, what, what's his face? Um, fucking Tim Small. Yeah, was in it as well. Oh, and okay. uh, it, and it's, it's all about... Um, um, the Shelleys when they go in to see what's his face, Lord Byron. Yeah, it's all Gabriel Byrne. Yes, that's right. Yeah, <coughs> and it's a uh, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. They play hide and seek for like half an hour. <laughs> Literally, something that happens in the film, they just play hide and seek for like half an hour. Marco Polo. Yeah, not even that, mate. It's literally just running around, and this butler's just like, "Fuck's sake!" I'm here. Yeah. Um, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, I fell asleep watching it. To be fair. We did start trying to watch it at like 11 o'clock at night. <coughs> then your brother got a phone call, so we didn't start until gone 12. And then I fell asleep. I was just like, nah, I'm not finishing this. Um, I watched the, the Vince McMahon documentary on Netflix. Kat's been watching that, so I've caught it's bits good. of it. I find it to be more of a history of WWE than a history of Vince McMahon. Um, but it's good if you don't know the business, you'll learn yeah, stuff I mean, about to the business. Yeah, to be fair... I, and I, you I, still I, learn things about when, Vince. When, 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 when Kat when had the WWE app... Mm. Uh, obviously, she watched a lot of the documentaries on that, and yeah. it was like, "This looks 
a lot of this looks familiar. Yeah, well, from, it's from, from, from those. So yeah, you know, it, it, it's not my thing. They do show some stuff from like um, Wrestling with Shadows, Bret Hart's documentary yeah. of when he punched Vince McMahon in the face and things like that. And uh, all these interviews are all done like a few years ago before all these allegations came out for the most part. Mm. And then literally they, they say in episode one, all these interviews were done. We had one more interview set to be done with Vince. Then the first set of allegations and then came shit out, happened. and then we didn't get to finish these off with them. So uh, most of the series is all about like the rise of WWE and his relationship with his children and stuff like that. And then episode six basically just turns into oh yeah, and then Vince is a fucking nutter who shits on women. So yeah, he's a fucking mm. psychopath, that man. Yeah. So uh, um, I mean, I, I, I gather they that we've got a, a sort of a confirmation of when everything's moving to Netflix. Oh, yeah, January. We yeah, knew th- about, we've th- known about th- that for a while. The 3rd of January. Yeah, well, in America, it's just raw. Everything else is staying on Peacock and the networks and stuff like that. But for outside World, of that, worldwide, for us, UK, yeah. everything's going yeah, to Netflix. Cat's so looking forward So we'll to get, that. like, WrestleMania included in your Netflix and the subscription, everything like that. It's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I also watched um, all of Superstore. Which is the sitcom? You know what? I, I, I I've, I've caught the odd episode of it. It's okay, it's, you know. It's, it's, it's fun because yeah. uh, it's, well, it's, it's um, uh, what's her name? From American Ugly, Ferrer from yeah. Ugly Betty. Yeah, and one of the guys who was in the kids in the hall is he's the. the I, I, I remember. I, I, I caught the end of a season where the the the, the, the store got devastated by a tornado. A hurricane, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the last episode of season two. Yeah, and the funny thing is, watching it this time round because I've seen it all before up to the end of series five. I didn't see series six because it wasn't out yet. But so when I've gone through and I've watched it all again this time round, when you get the, the first episode of season two, they actually mention that the store is not structurally sound enough for tornadoes. And then at the end of the series, there's a tornado goes through the entire. So they literally hid. They 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 did like some. Um, Little hidden warning about that in episode one, knowing what's going to happen at the end of the season. I thought, I thought that Check was really cool. tornado. Basically, yeah. But they never mention it again throughout the rest of the series. They just say the place isn't structurally sound for tornadoes. Um, but then when I watched like series six, there's only like twelve episodes in it, or something like that, really truncated. But the last episode of the series is actually quite sad. Um, so yeah, I like that. I also watched. Um, I started watching Doctor Who from the beginning. Have the you boys. never watched Doctor Who? Uh, yeah, we started from Eccles Cake. Um, we're going onwards now. We're up to which one are we on? We did the Dalek one. We did. In fact, was Dalek the last one that we watched? I think it might be. Yeah. So, oh yes, it is. Yeah, because we're on to uh, Sat- Satellite Five or whatever it's called, the the Jagrafes. Yeah. Episode is the next one. The yeah. mighty Jagrafes so of the, the Holy Hadrogesic Max to Rodenfo. Yes, that one. Um, yeah. Uh, so we got that one next with Nicholas. The uh, long Simon peg. Yeah. Um, and then the only other thing that I've watched recently is I watched the film Nobody with um, fucking brilliant with what's his face um, Better Call Saul yeah yeah um, yeah I, yeah. I like doing a some of it that, like I, it. yeah I like some of it I don't like all of it I don't like the fact that he's ex special forces and stuff like that mm-hmm. I think it, it would have been better because it basically just turns into John Wick after a point it would have just been better if he'd just been a normal bloke pushed to his limits because obviously at the beginning of the yeah. film if you've not seen it um, burglars break into his house and they just steal what little money he has there but they steal his daughter's little bracelet as well and he's he has the drop on them he could he could smack them over the head with this golf club if he wants to and save his son who's being held ca- captive by one of, the, one of the robbers but he doesn't and he basically just lets them go and then when he finds out that his daughter's bracelet's been nicked he's just like right I'm going to find out who these fuckers are and I'm taking them down I want them and when he finds them eventually he doesn't do anything to them because they've got a baby it's just this husband and wife who are just struggling trying to get by so he leaves them be he goes outside gets all frustrated punches the wall and makes his knuckles all bleed but he's just about to go home and just let the day be the day but he's on the bus driving home hmm. And some knobheads got on the bus and start harassing some of the passengers. And he's just like, you are on the wrong fucking bus right now. So he st- t- stops the bus, tells the driver to get off, and kicks the shit out of these guys on the bus. And it's fucking amazing. It's one of the best fight sequences I've seen for a long yeah. time. Another good bus fight. But yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying earlier. But if it literally just ended there and it had just been this short about this dad being pushed to his fucking limits, going to get his daughter's bracelet back, I would have been fine. 
But then the rest of it, it turns out one of the guys on the bus was this Russian gangster's son uh, or brother or something like that. And now they want to hunt down the John Wick dude and take him on. They send fucking hitmen to his house. Then his dad's there, who's Chris Doc Brown. And his dad used to be in the FBI. And now they've all got shotguns and they go after his dad. And his dad shoots him in the face and stuff. Like that. And it's just like, mate, I can't be arsed with this. This is too much now. Yeah, it. Just being a normal guy pushed to the limit, that would have been fine. Didn't need to be the rest. But I thought he was very good in it. I like it. Yeah. Bob like it. I'm, I'm, I'm 100% behind that film. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, right, so the Q&A section now. Q&A! Who's got questions? Sh- uh, who's got some Q's and we'll chuck some A's? Well, some Q's three. Beetlejuice 3. Okay. Uh, thoughts on if it could happen or should it happen? The title should be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Well, should it? What you're doing? Everybody said that. Yeah. I think we were all agreed on that. Yeah. How, I, d- I haven't seen the second I, one yeah, yet. I um, haven't seen it I mean, there's, there's, there's two ways you can go. It's either you need to finally go Hawaiian. defeat yeah. <laughs> or you, uh, or or it needs to be a... Is, is it possible to do a Beetlejuice redemption story? I don't know because I've not seen Beetlejuice 2, so I couldn't tell you, you know... So, so, so the, the, the two, different, two different possible ways of going... Um, would, uh, in in terms of plot wise and stuff like that, I don't know to be honest with you. But in terms of could they do it again? They'd have to be fucking quick. They're less than forty years between the last one and this one, so yeah, yeah, you'd have to be, you know you have to get a wriggle on with it all. Uh, personally, should they do it? Probably. I mean, not. I don't even think it needed a sequel. No. So, but luck, yeah. luck, luckily, it wasn't shit. Well, you know, I've heard that Monica Bellucci just disappears in the movie, and uh, there's no need for. Um, Willem the photo have been in it and stuff like that. So. The, 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 the thing that's a little bit off is that they, 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 they've s- a, a certain character is very, very important to Don't the movie. They do, do, do an onward with, uh, with um, what's his face there, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey yeah. Jones. Uh, and ov- ov- uh, you know, so obviously he's not in the film because. Yeah. Yeah, he's on the, he's, he's on the register. Yeah. Um, uh, but. Um, uh, yeah, uh, but you know, it's it's like fine. Don't have him in the movie, but don't have his face everywhere and the character everywhere as well. Just yeah. do something different that doesn't you. Know, because otherwise, the entire movie is based around that character. It's like like say forty years ago, he could have died five years exactly. after the last yeah. film. Yeah. Makes no difference. New husband, fine. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But um, yeah, they made decisions. But uh, yeah, yeah. In the end, otherwise, it's 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 quite an entertaining yeah. movie. It, it, My sister enjoyed it. She yeah. got to see it. it so. Yeah, Kath and I went and I saw it. I absolutely loved the first one as a kid, though. Like, it's I, great. I watched it. I watched it. I watched it. I think that's Tim, what, Tim Burton at the, at the height of his powers. It's going to bug me with the fact that Alec Baldwin and uh, and uh, Gina Davis aren't in it. But, no, you know. they aren't. Yeah, and and it's basically. It's but ba- it's basically dealt with with a line. But well, they can write out those ghosts who are stuck in that house for all eternity. <laughs> they can't write out Jeffrey Jones fully. Come on. Mm. Anyways, yeah. Um. That's, uh, yeah. So for me, should they do it? No. Could they do it? I suppose. Probably. If they get a wriggle on. But it's money in it. Hollywood. If what's what's, what's make the it up, Beetlejuice cartoon any good? Yeah, it's a beast. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. I, it's I, fucking I, I limited in budget, it. like, but it's good fun. Yeah. But it is weird how like Lydia and Beetlejuice are best mates after you know everything that happened in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good fun. It's like yeah, if you ever get a chance, watch the Little Shop of Horrors animated series. Now you talk about fucking low budget. Jesus Christ! Is that there's episodes of that with literally no backgrounds and it's literally just the two characters with like a red background or no background at all because they couldn't oh be asked God. animating it. F- 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 funny you should mention Little Shop because um, Joshua's in the middle of doing all his audition pieces for drama schools and that. Mm-hmm. And um, the Nuremberg f- rally is there. F- f- That's f- one f- of his f- monologues f- he's learned. Um, for the musical theatre ones that he's going for, obviously he has to do a, a song. So he's doing um, uh, Grow For Me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've given you sunshine. I've given you rain. Yeah. Yeah, love it. I like yeah, that one. Yeah, That's yeah, a good it's one. good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Right. Any um, more cues? Any more cues? Cues? Now, Kath isn't here, but she did actually send me a cue. Okay. So let, let's see if you guys can hear this. Turns his phone off. (laughs) (laughs) 
can't hear that at all. I'm sat That's right next to you. Yeah. If you were a Care Bear, what Care Bear would you be and what would your secret Care Bear power be? <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. If we were a Care Bears, what Care Bear would we be and what would our secret power be? I know what you'd be. You'd be Angry Bear! Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you would? <laughs> Baby. Can I be Don't? Don't yep. Care Bear. Don't, don't care, care bear. <laughs> yeah. shit, bear. I, I really don't give a shit. Don't care about the apathy. Like, power my apathy. secret power is yeah. none of your fucking business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So. Well, to be fair, uh, I, 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 I've, I've been accused of that. That's probably uh, what, what that's my one would be. be. Want to introduce you to my sidekick? Still don't. <laughs> <laughs> still don't care, <laughs> man. Fuck off and leave us alone. I saw, I, saw, I saw a cartoon this week. It was a teacher in a classroom. So, Can anyone tell me the dictionary definitions of ignorance and apathy? And some kid goes, don't know, don't care. <laughs> 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 I thought that made me laugh. Uh, um, so, so if you're not angry, Bear, who are you? Um, I don't know. To be honest with you, um, hmm. I I I know for a fact I saw the Care Bear movie on video when I was a kid. I just don't know when why. did that movie come because out. Think I oh, the eighties. You were a kid. The eighties. It, it would have been round around the same sort think of time as like Transformers and stuff like that. That's 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 the sort of animated movie era we're talking. Now, when yeah. you say kid, you mean like thirty-eight? <laughs> the look on his face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Old jokes. Yeah. Old jokes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. What what care bear could I be? I, I don't think I could be a care bear because I just don't care. Like so Yeah, he's done that already. Yeah, I know. I just. I, I Too know. late. Um. Yeah, I'd be. I'd be. Uh, we'll do from a fucking <laughs> the other thing, the the black mirror. Um. In fact, no. I'd just be like, no. I I I, I don't. I'm not a care bear. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'm a, I couldn't care less bear. You know? They couldn't care yeah. less bear. He's don't care. I couldn't care less. <laughs> and, um, if, if anything, I'd have to be twat bear. Twat bear. Uh, yeah. Just, <laughs> don't ask, yeah. Don't ask me what the symbol is on my fucking chest. Just a big finger like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Total cunt bear. <laughs> well, don't ask what that symbol is. <laughs> fuck me. Um, yeah. Nah. Yeah, fuck you bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd, 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 it's like, oh I'd, no, little Timmy's having problems with the bullies. Who should we send to save him? Fuck you, bear. Hey, bullies, fuck you. Oh, it's, Two one. it's Ted. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you bastards, fuck you. Leave little Timmy alone. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Seven Young Blind. I swear to God, it's a really good name. <laughs> Seven Young Blind. God oh. makes me laugh that film. I need to watch that soon. I was, yeah. been a minute. I've still not seen Ted 2. I have. Have you? You could. Okay. Uh, have you seen any of the what? TV show? You got both of them on TV. The first, first one was Lightning in a Bottle, and it was great. I've, I've watched a couple of episodes, and it, 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 is, it is all right. Yeah. If someone does a monologue from Ted, are they doing a TED talk? Oh. Uh, Shut your mouths. <laughs> right. Boo. I don't well, well, so which care bear were you then, Paul? Oh, it's it, it, it's it's like um, Doug was saying, lack of empathy bear is is, is what yeah. I've been accused of recently. So that's probably it. So now, when you when you say you've been accused of it, yeah. do you agree with these accusations <laughs> or not necessarily? So you're not necessarily non-empathetic bear. Mm, yeah, that's a bit of a mouthful. That's what she said. Hey, she didn't. Yep. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't say anything with cock in her mouth. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> I love and respect all women. <laughs> Mostly when they're naked. Yeah, too much, but yeah. too <laughs> much. <laughs> There's some, sometimes too much. <laughs> right. Um, we need to end on a non... Um, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, chauvinist... Ending. Yeah. So, let, has, has anyone got any nice questions that we can go out on? Yeah. What TV show or film was rubbish but had serious potential to be a lot better than it was? What series of rubbish Ooh. that had potential to that be is better? That's a loaded question, Jay. Oh my Invasion God. USA. Ooh. Did anyone ever see that? I think I did. Yeah. Um, it was basically 
weirdly, I say, was it Invasion? No, it wasn't Invasion USA. No, I'm lying. It's not called that. I think it was just called Invasion. And it was set in Britain, and there was like this like alien would, spaceship would, or something. Would, would, was that the BBC one with um, Dirty Denim? Potentially, uh, yeah. Yeah, and Les- Leslie Grantham was 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 a like a an army colonel. Yeah, and or when something. they captured one of the aliens, he took his helmet off and he was just a human. You know, because I, I, like I want to say Paul Cornell wrote that. Did he? I'm gonna have to look this. I'm up. I'm gonna look it up. You look it up. Ooh, you look yeah, it up, but, no. but it only lasted for like one series or something like that, and I really fucking liked it. Um, but yeah, Invasion, I think it was called or something like something like that. It wasn't an Invasion yeah. USA? It was because it mostly took place in Scotland, as far as I recall. The aliens had this big like growth thing that took over most of the highlands or something like that. It was a good show. I enjoyed it. Um, I got one. Keep going. I got Keep one. Going. Uh, you got one. Okay. Uh, Stan Lee's Lucky Man. Lucky Man. Okay. Because yeah. that got two seasons. So uh, yeah, I know, but it was three. for me, I just didn't enjoy it. I was like, this should be this potential. That was the question. Like, yeah. I had potential. I was like, yeah, I'm in. First episode, I was in. No, and then he just went it. somewhere else. Right. What, from what he was I selling don't. me from the first season, I was like, oh, here we go. This is going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. This is Domino. This is Domino, but it's a dude. Let's have it. And yeah, yeah it just didn't go for it. it yeah. Didn't go that way for yeah. me at all. I Paul, really you you, you give one up because I know who I'm looking for in the. Go on, Paul. You can come on, mate. I, I don't know because um, because I'm one of these guys that you know I I you know I I quite like stuff that other people thinks shit. So it's 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 hard to judge. Um. So well, the question was potential, so yes. Yeah, you know, I. Mm, what do you think could have been better for you? What could have been better for me? Uh, oh God, I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. Stop looking it up. I'll find it while you're doing that. He's not going to Invasion no, Earth. What's well, called? It was Invasion Earth. It was called. Ah, there we Invasion go. Earth. There we there go. You go. No, I think I know what I was thinking of for Leslie Grantham though. There's, there's, he, he did it. Yeah, he did a thing uh, back in the day. Fred Ward was in it. Fred, Fred Ward was in it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, American co-production. I I do, I do remember watching that. Um, Remo Williams. Oh, what is there that could have been better? It, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'd have cast this. To, 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 to be fair, there's a lot of stuff that... You know what? Should have been good, Go on. but was utter shite. Crime Traveller. Oh, wow, Crime Traveller. That's, that's something that n- had not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like Saturday night, prime time, BBC drama, crime drama, but with time travel. And they sliders was great. Five oh, seasons, love, though. love yeah. sliders, love so, sliders. I'm looking up Invasion Earth right now. It wasn't Paul Cornell. Who was it? It was Jed Mercurio who wrote fucking Line of Duty. Oh yes, yeah. Fucking Line of Duty. I, 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 wow. You know what it'll be? Paul Cornell wrote the novelization. That's what it'll be. Okay. That's what it'll be. I know. I know Cornell's in there somewhere on that one, but um, yes, Crime Traveler. I the one I always refer to as as. Uh, um, shit like this can only be made due to the unique way the BBC is funded. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, have you got an answer for your own question? That's a good point, yeah. Sliders was yours. Sliders. sliders. Yeah, Sli- I, I, I think Sliders is a great show. Uh, yeah. Great show. Yeah. Do you know who doesn't like Sliders? Um, edge, edge, edge on... What's that? <laughs> Don't they love sliding? It's the only thing they could do. Um, no, it's um, Al Gimli himself, John Rhys Davies. He yeah. fucking hated it because he didn't think the pilot was going to go. He just took the pilot as a paycheck and then he got locked in for series worth of shows. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, I fucking don't want to do this show. I, I'm locked in. So I do, that's why as soon as the, the time came up for his character to go, he was off. Yeah. Yeah. And they replaced him with uh, the other girl, whose name I forget now. Yeah. But um, yeah, the girl from Eight Legged Freaks, I believe she's in. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, yeah, and it's um, Will Wheaton's mate yeah, from so. um, Stand By Me, isn't it? Um, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. yeah. Has played Superman on numerous occasions. Yeah. yeah. He also played R- 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 him and Munster in the Mockingbird, Mockingbird Lane TV pilot. His missus is. Rebecca Romain. Yeah, she plays Lois Lane in a bunch of the animated films Ooh. as well. Yeah. They, 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 they both, they're both Starfleet first officers now in, in Star Trek. Do you want to tell them that Star Wars isn't real? Star Trek's not real. <laughs> <laughs> they're both first officers. They are. They're both in space right now. 
because she she she's number one on um, Strange New Worlds, and, and well, he's well. Um, he he's Commander Ransom on uh, Lower Decks. Oh, okay. Commander Ransom, incredibly handsome. Thank you very much. Now, so <laughs> funnily enough, that that's kind of how the character is played. Oh, there you go. Jerry Cole's a handsome man. Yeah, yeah. His brother, not so much. Yeah, his brother looks like uh, you, someone you did, put yeah. Jerry in a microwave well, for one, twenty one, seconds. One, one of the fun things about watching oh. um, the Ready Room behind the scenes show for Star Trek is when Will interviews Jerry because Sorry, what's the, the name the, of the show? It's it it it's called the Ready Room. The Ready what? The Ready Room. Room. Paul. Ready Room. Red Room. It's the Red Room. Red Room. Red Room. It's the Ready Red Room. Room. Um, ready Room. 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 Um, but you know, because they've been friends since they were kids, yeah. it, it's it's it, it is like a family getting back together. They they love each other so much. It's it's always fun seeing them together. So anybody else got a TV show out there that they think should have more potential? Trapdoor. Do you know? Actually, I've, uh, I've got one right. I've got one right, and I and I have actually got a half written script for a movie of this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Gravedale High. Oh, okay. It's not not Rick one Mor- ever. Not Rick one Moranis's a uh, animated series where he basically plays an animated version of himself who goes to work at Gravedale High, which is a school where all the children of all the Universal monsters go to. So like Frankenstein's son and Dracula's son. And the Bride of Frankenstein's Daughter. This, all was, this, a, this was a thing. This was I, a thing. I've yeah. got a vague recollection it had a decent theme tune. It's a I fucking don't, banger of a theme tune. Did, when when, did when, did when, when yeah. we did our thing like 10 oh years ago where God. we watched a load of theme uh, yeah. title sequences, was Gravedale High in there? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I don't remember, but it's fucking brilliant. Yeah. Great, and he brings his, his normal son to go to school with all the Gravedale High kids. So it's fucking familiar. brilliant. It's not one I It's just imagine watched. imagine all the Universal Monsters at school. Yeah. And, mm. and Rick Moranis is the teacher. It's fucking brilliant. And I, I did start writing a movie treatment for the for, for a, a live action version. It, t- to be fair, it's in the draw next to the weekend of Bernie's remake. To, 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 to be fair, it is one of those properties that I'm surprised hasn't g- g- given given its quite high concept. Well, he owns the he owns it, so c- if, can, if yeah, considering it, no it's quite it. high concept, I'm I, I, I'm surprised it. Well, they've hasn't done Monster been, High, haven't they? The, the yeah. kids' toy dolls and stuff oh, like that. Yeah, so yeah. it's basically as close as you're going to get to that. Mm. But yeah, Gravedale High. Let's have a look here. Rick Moranis is Gravedale High. Yeah, yes, exactly what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Great Dale High. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking loved it. Great <laughs> show. Yeah, someone needs to bring that back in a big bad way. Remi- re- from a British perspective, reminds me of Duckula. Count, yeah? Count yeah. Duckula. Blood. Duckula was great, yeah. Blood. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, I can't talk. It was great. Oh, get it! <laughs> <laughs> well, on that bombshell, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, leave, we'll leave the show there then. Um, okay, one thing I do want to do just before um, we go is just to remind you all that um, we are back here on, I believe it's the like, first or second of November or something like that, is it? I don't know the date off the top of my head. Yeah, the second of November. Second. Okay, that will be our Halloween show. Okay, Ooh. because it's close to Halloween. Um, but we will be doing something before that. On the 26th of October, we will be live at a Haydock Racecourse, coming from Halloween Con, Horror Con, whatever it's called, 2024. Yeah. Uh, basically, our mate John, who ran Aintree Comic Con that we were at earlier this year, yep. his horror convention, Halloween Con, Halloween Con, don't know. The, the, the one that we were at last yeah, year. Yeah, we did it last year, yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be going again. So we'll be broadcasting from there. I would assume so, going live throughout the day on the YouTube's and that. Yeah, um, cool. Hopefully, people will be able to hear us better this time because mm-hmm. I've got proper microphones sorted and stuff like and, that. And we got on the cam- floors. cameras and technology and we, yeah, we we shit. can yeah we have the technology. We can make it better. We, we can faster. rebuild him. Yep, yep. So yeah, that's going to be happening there. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, so 26th, Saturday 26th, keep an eye on the YouTubes and things like that. We'll be back here the next week on Saturday the 2nd of November for the next Attack of the 50 Foot Neds. Um, in the meantime, again, once as usual, thank you for Doug for having us here. Not we a problem. the show. You seem to have perked up a little bit more from the beginning of the show. Oh, God, he's, he's obviously digesting. I've, I've yeah. moved some food. I mean, du- du- during, during, during this recording, you've, you've obviously gone and had a massive shit. It was just a big <laughs> wee. 
I'm not going to lie, it was just a big way. Like chips yeah. were shooting out the end of it, yeah. though, and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, you all shot your dick, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so thank you. Thank you, the audience, for coming along and seeing the show, because, you know, as I mentioned before, we can do the show without you. We just prefer to do it with you, especially one of you. I love, much prefer to do it with you. <laughs> uh, so. Um, <laughs> It's too early, <laughs> mate. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on you. You're an hour, you're hard, you're 38 minutes too early. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, well hey. uh, yeah. Never going to get away if with it. This, jo- this like joke's got legs, mate. Uh, no. This joke's got legs. <laughs> I, I made a fucking song out of it last month, which you can hear if you go to patreon.com. Folks, that's 50 foot nears. That's F-I-F-T-Y, F-O-O-T-N-E-R-D-S. You can sign up there for as little as a pound a month. And uh, for being a patron, you get extra length episodes with special little songs at the end of them and stuff. Yeah. Extra bonus content as and when it goes out on there. And yeah, good times. I had a plenty over on the Patreon. Um, I will be starting up the um, Quick Bites series again soon. It's it's on my list of things to do. I'm just I'm really busy, but it is on my list of things to do. Don't worry about that. Um, if you want to buy stuff with our faces on and the logos on and stuff like that, you can do that. It's over at tinyurl.com forward slash 50 foot store. That's 50 FT store. Um, and do we actually have here. anything with Doug's face on it yet? Uh, sad. What's that? A dartboard? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, the the well the new posters. If you make us fucking money, Facebook. mate, I'd do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll have sort something out. I'll sort something yeah. out. Yeah. We need to take proper photos. Yeah. We, we need together. to do. We but in order to do, do that, we need the four of us. So yeah. yeah. Hopefully next month. What's that? Yeah, I know, yeah, true, yeah. All that awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Everything is awesome. It Everything is, is right, cool, cool when you're part of a team. All right, okay. Um, what's that? Pharrell Williams. Like a what? A Pharrell Williams. Oh, no, there's... Fra- yeah, they put oh, out yes. a music video. They put out a, like, a set with a fart and unicorn or something what, like that. What is it about weird... Biopics at the moment. I I I I dropped off. I, I, oh, oh no no no! I love Weird that. Al's I live. That, I love yeah. that movie. Kath watched it this week. It's she great, she really it? rated it as well. Still haven't seen it. Yet. Oh, it's so oh, good. So good. It's oh, so good. Sorry, just going back to Lego. One second. I, I dropped like a hundred quid in the in the Lego shop last week. Uh, didn't mean to, but nice. yeah. Um, at sets, plural. <laughs> yeah. I got the the the. the 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 big mini fig that you can get. I got that. I got um, dancing baby Groot in his pot, and you, pre- you you do the thing, and he dances like that. And I also got the brickheads, the Batman brickheads, where it's like eight different builds. So you can do like original first appearance Batman. You can do classic Adam West Batman. You can do nineteen eighty nine Batman. You can do Dark Knight trilogy Batman. You can do the Robin Pattinson Batman, who's got sad eyes on the back of the box. You can, <laughs> go, you can do Dark Knight Returns Batman. There's like eight different ones that you can do. Awesome. Twenty five quid for eight builds. I was happy with that. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't built them yet though. So yeah, they're, they're on my list. And uh, and and the kids spent a lot as well. Jason spent like seventy odd quid on Minecraft and stuff. He spent 100 quid as well, did he? Ooh. What did he get? He got. You spent 60 on advent calendars, yeah. It was a Marvel one and a Star Wars one. And uh, Jason just all bought Minecraft stuff in the end, didn't he? Uh, or was there anything else? Oh, yeah, he got a blind bag, didn't he? Yeah. They were the sets were all Minecraft. Oh, yeah, we all got a little minifigure of like a little skateboarding girl as well, on the snowboarding. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've been doing it for years. I got a Lego Star Wars one about yeah. 10 years ago. I got a Marvel one. Uh, yeah. Oh, like me, me Iron Man's got like a, a shit <laughs> like a Christmas uh, jumper on. Yeah, Matt, I've got an R2D2 with reindeer antlers. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm wanting to get myself a few new um, Christmas Funko Pops this year. Yeah. Lit- literally, Kath, uh, what went, took us to, um, well, I say took, uh, uh, Kath took us. Kath asked me to take her to the range today, um, and she bought a, uh, a whole load of Christmas gonks. Oh, yeah. God. Christmas gonks are her thing this Gnome, year. Gnome. What's that? Yeah, we got one in Primark, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, well, we, 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 we now have... Christmas gonks, and we will probably be getting more Christmas gonks. Christmas gonks is Cass thing this year. And it's like, oh, I don't want to put them away. They look sad. It's like, it's not Christmas yet. They do not go out until the 1st of December. So once again, thank you for joining us on the Attack of 50 Foot Nets this month. Um, 
Paul's been it, yeah. So, yeah, for, for this episode, um, I've been Tom Hardy. Tom Holland. Tom Howard. <laughs> Tom, I've been Tom Tom the Sat Nav Man. <laughs> I, 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 I've been angry. I've been the fat one. <laughs> <laughs> and you've all been great. So, until next month, geek out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, for oh, audio that was fun. stuff. Yeah, good fun that one. If you've enjoyed the nerdum in your ears, then why not follow us on Twitter at 50 Foot Nerd? You can follow Mike at Mike G Bell, Amara at, at VoltsMXOth and at Amara Lunera, and Paul is on at Auton Scouser. Our website is 50footnerds.co.uk. That's F I F T Y F O O T N E R D S dot co dot UK. You can find all of our YouTube content at video.50footnerds.co.uk or search youtube.com slash 50footnerds. All of our episodes are archived over at bit.ly slash 50footnerds archive. That's 50FTNERDS archive. You can like us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash attack of the 50footnerds. Email us at 50footnerds at gmail.com or join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash 50footnerds. If you'd like to buy our merchandise, you can visit us over at tinyurl.com forward slash 50 foot store. That's 50FT store. All of these links and more are available at our Linktree page. That's L I N K T R dot double E slash 50 foot nerds. F I F T Y F O O T N E R D S.